and I was super, super into it. Like, I really liked it. Um, and I learned a lot more with the story in there, even though a lot of that story is not even canon. I think it was, like, made up. I don't think it has any official anything. Like, there was a lot of random stuff in that, in that one, in that comic, but it made me really get into the game, and I, I didn't get this game for a long time. Um, it's still fairly recent in the collection. I, I got it a few years ago, but it's it's one of my very few, like, almost mint-in-box games for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the other one of which is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, of all things, um, which is probably the best-looking box I have for my Super NES collection. But this one's extremely close. It's, it's quite good-looking. Uh, weirdly enough, I have way more better, like, I have way more really good-looking Super Famicom games in boxes. I guess the Japanese just really take care of their shit. I mean, hold on. The Japanese really just take care of their um, retro games way more than we did in the 90s, so. Um, out of the 199, exactly, I know how much that is because I'm still waiting for my 200th game exactly. Um, out of 199 Super NES games, I've got maybe 20 in box. Um, nowadays I'm older and I appreciate those like Horizon Chase type games. They're very cool, but I understand when I was a kid, like I'm not not enjoying that a lot. Shit, I thought he wasn't gonna open up. Damn it. Oh, what a waste. Probably gonna just use a bomb here. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, when you defeat both these sides, by the way, that main thing just like it falls out and will hit you, so be very careful not to be in the center when that happens. You'll see what I mean in like a second. Here we go. See what I mean? Gotta be really careful. That one can almost kill you. So, bam. Very easy. The game starts out really easy, as you can see. Hopefully we won't have too many deaths. Uh, I'll, I'll, again, I'll tell you where I was dying like crazy the first time through this game. And I like how Lee Star Fox Assault continued that. This is why I like this level, by the way. I really like this boss. I had trouble with this boss the first way through. I lost all my lasers. I clipped my wings too much. So you gotta be really careful here. I should get these hits in. I'm never aiming properly here. Damn it, Phil. Damn it, Phil. Oh, here we go. Come on. Nice. Now we're going to go to the other side, so don't get schmucked from behind. Um, anyways, yeah, I like Crystal a lot. So Assault continued that. Like, Peppy retired, and Crystal was a pilot now. And it was awesome. And Command continued with that. There was all these cool... Shit. There was all this cool, um, like, endings and whatnot. There we go. I love this. Oh, it looks so good. My is like, I'm getting the hell out of here. So well done. Two frames a second. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, here's the boss. There we go. It's a very weird boss, little spindle leg thing. Um, you gotta destroy its legs before it'll take any real damage. This this boss can take a little bit of time, but it's not difficult. Every time you like damage a leg, it kinda does like that it like kinda lifts up a little bit. And after all the legs lift up, it kinda just kinda slights at you. He's not hard though. Um I think that was one of the legs there, was it? No, I guess not. It looked like one. Shit, is this not working? Ah, dodge. Oh, get up. There we go. Um, it's the next boss that I, I really had a problem with. Come on. Am I not damaging you? Yeah, the legs are flashing. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Now we can shoot it and destroy the legs completely. And get out of the way. Okay, just gonna step here. Okay, cool. Now he's actually losing health, so that's good. Better if I aim. Oh yeah, just watch out. Just move to the left or right with these fire things. Not really a big deal. Ah shit. He just completely me. Now that now he's pretty much dead. He's got no defenses, so bam 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 bam. Watch out fire. Zed got there we go. All right, this is where the game stops getting easy. Uh, the last two levels, which is Venom, both levels are on. Oh, here's the boss, I didn't even notice. Um, so yeah, this guy, he's easy kind of at the beginning. You hit him, he teleports, he hit him, teleports, then he becomes three guys. Um, don't, don't use a bomb against him. Actually, here it's not too bad. Um, I think it's when you fight him again. Sorry, spoilers, you fight him again. He's almost dead already. It's like a fake boss. And then it's like, find the right one. If you don't, it just splits up again. Come on. Shit. Wow, I'm really... There we go, got him. So he just runs away. Um, you fight him again in the last level, and he's way harder. But if you use a bomb against him, I think he counterattacks with something that just straight up, like, kills you if it... 
There we go. Okay, here he is again. So yeah, whatever you do, don't shoot him with the bomb. Again, I don't know if that's exactly it, but I found every time I shot a bomb, he would use that 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 um, that attack, and I do not want it to happen. So find the correct one, and you're like, oh, that was easy, and then it becomes the actual real boss. Shout, he'll swing by. Uh, okay, I find this boss really difficult, to be honest. Ugh, don't like him. You don't get like a shot on him, then he does that kind of weird hurt animation, and then he just kind of buggers off. And I just, I don't like him. Because you can't just rain terror on him like you can with other bosses. He just kind of jumps around. He's just weird, man. I don't like him. Doing okay, though. I got met a couple times. Got a lot of shields right now. And then he does this shit. Watch out. That's basically it, rinse and repeat, but I had a lot of trouble with them. This is where actually I died. This is where I got my game over. And I was like, yeah, all right, whatever. Um, then I looked up just real quick online, just to be like, all right, how to beat him. Oh, okay, I'm just being an idiot and don't use bombs. Um, yeah, there it goes. This is going way, way better. I guess he, he must only use that thing, that attack when he uses bombs, because he's not doing it right now. Because it was killing me in a single shot, like even full health. I think it's just, it's just a... The counter of some sort, so. Still don't like him. But after we're done him, we're basically done the game. Uh, Andros is super easy, so. Oh, jeez! That was not fun. That's not the attack, by the way. I don't think, anyways. He does throw something at me, but it wasn't his leg. I did a lot of damage, though. One more hit of those, and I'm dead. Come on, you're so close to dead, man. Come on. Yes, there we go. Cool, cool. way just in case i don't want his dead body to hurt me the next time you get a weapon upgrade you don't get a weapon upgrade you get your wings back then you can start upgrading your weapon again obviously i am now on my lowest weapon against the last boss who's this weird polygonal face you might remember him from smash brothers because believe it or not that's an assist trophy from smash brothers um hit the eyes that's basically it uh, use your retros oh, okay good uh because he'll suck you up and like spit you out and does a lot of damage that took a lot of damage, that corridor, so I really don't want to have more damage done to me. Ah! Jeez. After enough... Yes. After enough um, damage, the eyes blow apart, and, uh, shit. Then, the face will explode, and you'll actually see what Andros kind of really looks like, which is very weird. Uh, but, that's the real boss. And other than that, it's fairly easy. This is its entire attack pattern. So, shit. But he's not hard, like, at all. And here we go, let's do it. And there he is. This is, like, brain core, or core brain or whatever. Though it is cool to see something with 3D with actual, like, you know, textures on it. Because that's pretty well done. And didn't beat him. I don't even know if those bombs did anything, to be honest. So there we go. You just keep doing that until he's dead. I'm going to see if the bombs will kill his eyes. Oh, wow, maybe not. They really don't do a lot of damage. And that may be going to hit. Really sucking by the time that bomb blew off. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to explode, but he, he started sucking too early. Take that as however you want it. <laughs> yeah. So once we get here, we're pretty much done. Even if I die here, it's not really a big deal. God damn it, Phil. Come on, man. I, I wonder how much faster this would have been if I didn't lose my wing. That's so much on screen. It's super well done. Oh, also, I like that, um... Like, you can see that on the polygons on Amos' face. Well, not right now, but, like, a lot of the other ones. Um, you can see on the R-Wing, but, like, how it's, uh... It's called dithering, where each pixel is a different color to make it look like some sort of shading, because the game only has so many colors. I I've always liked that. It was a very cool technique. Mario Paint had that type of stuff. Oh, we beat it! I wasn't even paying attention. Jeez, he's dead. Kind of fun little fact, too. Um, Kirby... Ah, damn it. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, the Game Boy Advance version of this game, was the very first Game Boy Advance game I had ever bought. Um, I didn't have a Game Boy Advance. Instead, I bought a um, Game Boy Player. And with that, we'll be able to beat the entirety of the first world in one episode. So, and you're dead. 
about. I'm gonna use your stuff. You are ice or freeze. You're freeze. Freeze. Do what's what? It literally just do this. And he's dead. Easy enough. Oh, no worries whatsoever. Another one of my favorite powers. Wheel. Oh, well, that'll work. Oh no, it won't work. Come on. Ball over. There we go. And boom. Everyone loves his power. But I didn't know that. And I'm thinking maybe that's why the Retron couldn't really handle it very well. I'm not 100% sure if that's why. Or maybe I just got really unlucky. But that's besides the point. I am now playing this on the Switch. Um, I totally forgot that this is available on the NES Online thing. So I was like, cool. I'll actually use the NES Online thing for something because I haven't been using it for anything else. Wow, these guys actually have a little bit of HP. I didn't really realize that. Yeah, in uh, this Kirby game and most uh, Kirby games in this era, uh, most enemies just take one, like, they have, like, one HP and they die. And you have a specific amount of hits, in this game, six, and then doesn't matter what you hit, that's Mike. I'm just gonna take this guy fast with my laser beams. Come on, die. Shoot some uh, music notes at me for some reason. That one's gonna hit me. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, this gives me Mike. A lot of times you'll get abilities that you can't get um, through museums, and it's just easier for this. Hammer is a good one for this. Um, like, this is just freeze, who cares? Um, in every Kirby game, by the way, because you're not always going to have the power, you have to be able to um, uh, shoot things back at the boss, and that you, of course, can do that against this guy. Shoot his drawings. To be honest, if he just ran around forever, then he'd win. So. But I do like how sometimes he, he takes a while to to get going. Sometimes he's very fast, and you have to be very careful with the way uh, the way you fight him. But this is the easy way to do it. Just throw back his uh, portraits. Reminds me a little bit about uh, what's her face from um, Kirby 64. If you have a name, it's like Adeline or some of like that. That Kirby doll is not going to be a power, by the way. This gives you crash. Time to take him out. Bam. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, I don't know how much Crash does, actually, to be really honest, but I mean, from uh, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, which is shit. Thank you. Um, it, it's Carrot Castle. Let's see what's in here. We got loud cars outside. I wonder what they're doing. Oh, wheel. I don't need wheel, obviously, but you know what? I'm going to take it. I like wheel better than I like laser. Laser's not powerful, as you can see. I'm, like, not, I'm barely doing damage to this guy. Like, one one thing of them, or one thing of, Like, that wouldn't even do any any damage. So, I don't know how much exact damage it does, but it's not a lot. And, I, and plus, I miss a lot because I'm stupid. Boo, there we go. It's wheel! <laughs> I, knew, I already knew that was going to happen, so... Oh, shit! I'm bad at everything. No! <laughs> God. Wheel's actually really good for this upcoming room, the room I was just in, so we're definitely going to get it. You're so slow. I want to just fall out and poop out a wheel for me. Thank you. Okay. Great. Um, freeze is probably the better one, though. Um, maybe. I guess it depends. This is definitely more aggressive, while uh, Freeze is definitely more defensive. But we're gonna get this power after it's anyway. I can't believe I missed. Alright, he missed me there. And there we go. This is Backdrop. Probably my favorite world in the game, just because I like the aesthetics and the music for it. Um, just the idea of climbing a tower is a lot of fun. I wish more Kirby games had that type of stuff. I find lately it's very much like... It's, it's, there's a pun in this world, and then, like, they don't really do anything with it. It's like, oh, it's, it's cottage, cottage cheese? Curb, I, I can't think of puns about food. And it'll just be like, oh, right, well, there's a forest level, there's a water level, like, it doesn't really matter. Oh, hello, Hammer. I guess it doesn't really matter. This is bonkers. Careful. He's strong. See what I mean? Oh, no, I'm, I'm bad at everything. Let's hit him with the, his own weapon. Here, taste your own medicine, and it will be better. Is that a little bit of a slide when you use this? Be very careful. This is Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. I love it so much. They're so great. I love their dynamic. I love the way they fight um, using each other. And then they get even cooler things in the later games. They're like... like the, I don't understand why that beam looks like garbage. It looks like a friggin' Intellivision game sprite or whatever. Um, but yeah, I love Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright. They're so cool. They'll switch up. It, I just love it. This, it's so cool. Why aren't these guys in more Kirby games? Ah, shit. Come on, Phil. Shit, come on, man. 
Oh, I got nothing. I am bad at this. Well, yeah, I love these guys. I think they're so awesome. And it bothers me that Nintendo just doesn't seem to, or HAL or whatever, doesn't seem to want to put them in anything anymore. It really just bugs me, I guess. Careful here. You'll get Fireball, I think, if I get one of these guys. Um, I'll get Cutter if I get anything from, from uh, the moon. Who I think is Mr... Mr. Bright, I think, is the sun. Mr. Shine is... I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, well, I might die. I'm doing, like, really badly. Very good. Stand here. Get one. There we go. Okay. Switch. Nope. And you do have to take out both of them, by the way, as you can see. Okay. Okay. And... There we go. Nice, and I got one. Nice. Oh, that was perfect! Yeah, my favorite boss. Love it! So happy! Ah, come on, man. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of Needle, because Needle's not gonna help me here, shit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Oh! Damn, I was not ready for that. You'd have to kill both of them, obviously. Oh, they're both on that side. That makes my life a little bit easier, I guess. Oh, I get crash. Shit. And... Bam, 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 you're dead, bitch. Oh, no, you're not. You're almost dead, bitch. Thank you. And then... Grab, crash again. We are in Grape Garden, and there's Bugsy. Ah, shit. Wow. <laughs> that didn't last very long. Oh, no, damn it. Wow, he's fast. Um, Bugsy is a uh, backdrop. I almost said suplex, um, though he is... Oh, freaking hell. He is the, um, the the enemy that has suplex in later Kirby games. But in this one, he has backdrop. We've seen backdrop before. It's a very powerful... Jeez, he is wrecking me. Um, it's a very powerful uh, power. But I'm just doing really bad. There we go. Clock is, is getting uh, all messed up. That, this is throw, by the way. Oh, well, there he goes. So, hitting him with wheels is not going to be good. So, I'm going to do what I'm doing now and just kind of use his stars against him and this thing. Not stars, but you know what I mean. Okay, watch out. And we, ah, if you get him to the, hit the wall, you, you can produce some stars. Okay, good. There we go. Throw is like backdrop, except you throw. Basically, sleeping the day away. So. Uh, Kate, my wife, she's uh, away right now. She's in uh, Boston. I think for I think it's Fan Expo. I'm not sure. I just call it Boston Ocon because I can't think of names. So she's gone for the next few days. Um, so I'm just kind of by me here by myself with the dogs. This is another thing that I really don't like. I don't like being away from the dogs for 12 hours at a time, and that's why it's just slow. I have no idea. Oh, hello, Mike. Ow. Walked right. I just stood there. Well, that'll happen. Bam. And give me a note. Thank you. And you're dead. High jump. High jump is pretty much the one that they expect you to use against Krakow. Krakow starts off as a kind of chase upwards. If you kind of stick around too long... Whoa, that's close. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that's what Krakow will do. He'll actually take away the platforms you stand on, so you want to get away, which is easy. I mean, even if you're not using high jump, you can just fly up there, of course. But I find this is a really good power to use against Krakow regardless, so... You can press um, the attack button again to end your jump, by the way, just like that. All right, actual showdown with Krakow. You don't fight him um, without his like floofy cloud. But there we go. This is this is Krakow. Hydra's not particularly powerful, but I mean, it's a good way to attack him. Just be careful to actually like, if you're gonna end your jump like I'm doing, get out of his his hitbox basically. Because the last thing you need to do is be stupid and stop your thing right in his face, right there. Um, go in here, you fight. Good old bonkers. Get the hammer power again. Oh, that didn't hurt. Ah, oh, come on, man. You get two shots with your fireball if you're lucky, which is nice. And... There we go. Mastering that power and to get through them properly and stuff. It's just fun. Hello, Mennonite. Six some baddies on me. Mennonite's uh, little group of enemies, by the way, are literally called the Mennonites. I don't know why there's no axe ability or, like, spear ability. Actually, I think spear does get an ability in later Kirby games. But, like, it's kind of weird that these guys, none of them give you powers. But, oh well, whatever, not a big deal. Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. That arena that we unlocked last episode, 
I was not sure if it was going to be bonkers, but yes, as you can see, it is clearly bonkers. Uh, they have the arena kind of out for you, like, even if you don't unlock it, it's like, it's there. You should probably find a way in here. Uh, damn, that was stupid. And sure enough, it's bonkers inside. With Hammer, the most important power to get secrets. Careful of him, though. He can grab you. And he's this cute little lion who uses Fireball. It's... Ah, oh, shit. So he can grab you. I don't really know why um, Fire is one that would um, basically have its own mini boss. But I guess they just thought, hey, we have a cool idea for a boss. We could just do that. I love how face plants there, too. It's just adorable. I'm done with mini games, I think, for the rest of the game. This guy, I don't know his name. Well, he killed me. Um, this whole area is the same material that you can break with your hammer. So you can actually bust this entire level, which is not good because you can kill yourself because that's a bottomless pit. Um, those missiles that he shoots, I think they also give you hammer. Um, and then you can shoot them back, of course, but it's just fun to just do this. Oh, careful when he does this, though. Jeez, that is a dangerous pattern. This is random, by the way, what he's doing. So it can be very dangerous. Uh, it's a lot more, like, just, I don't know, melancholy, I guess. Even this music is a lot more, like, some people would say, I guess, this is relaxing music, because, like, it's the ocean, you know, relaxing. Oh, yeah, you can't shoot those underwater. I'm actually going to just screw this guy, man. Ah, no, I'll, I'll find him, whatever. Um, that, this part of the song is pretty happy. Da, 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 da. Um, but overall, the overall, like, feeling of the song is so much... Oh, he doesn't give you stars. Uh, overall, the, uh, the feeling of the song is, to me, very... Just a little sad. I don't know. I'm weird. Maybe I just got problems. Maybe I'm depressed. I don't know. Oh, shit, what am I doing? Yeah, you can just do this. You know, get hit by him. Oh, I love this animation. Bam! No, underwater, you can actually, like, shoot water at them. But the problem is you can't move very well, so you gotta be careful with it. But yeah, I can just sit there and do that. I keep forgetting I can do it. You gotta be very careful, because this guy's an asshole. Stop, like, jumping away from me, too. And one more hit. Ah, oh, come on, you prick! Bam! Well, now you're dead. There you go. So Bonkers is right here. Wow. Fuck off. <laughs> You're dead. Wow, he hit me again. So let's check it out. We got Fireball, and I've got nothing on me right now, and I'm basically dead. So I should probably get some health. But uh, he's probably gonna either kill me, or I'll survive the fight and get a maximum tomato. Yeah. Sorry about the lack of episodes, by the way, the last couple days. I am now officially done working night shifts for the store, uh, which is great. So I'm back to normal. I can never remember. Oh, it got so hard to get into doors, too. I think it's um, two Papa Brothers Juniors, or Papa Brothers Seniors, actually, I think, if you go to the top. Not 100% sure on that. Okay, good. Do not eat ice. I think you get a, an invincibility candy if you go to the top as well, so. Ooh, these guys have actual HP. I knew they did, but like, I didn't know they'd have, like, at least three hits. That's pretty crazy. Easy enough, though, with UFO. I do, I do like how you can, like, almost strafe, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna shoot left so I can, like, start charging up left or right, and then, uh, move around and it won't change where I'm gonna be shooting. There we go. Easy enough. Because you still have to get sword, even in the boss rush mode, so he's just a really hard enemy to fight. That's one. I get another one. Yes, two. Ah, he comes right at you. See, uh, this, sadly enough, this is a decent strategy. Ah, uh, no, it's gonna backfire on me. Nope, actually, it's gonna work. Unfortunately. But, the mask cracks open, you see that... <gasps> he was a Kirby the whole time! This is mini-boss tower where we fight every every mini-boss in the game. Which is, ah, damn it. It was very cool. I like the idea of that. Gonna... Nice. Ah, oh, frick. Come on. Thank you. And one more. Thank you, one more. You're gonna jump around. You're gonna jump around. Alright, come on. Thank you. And he's crash. Um, you can skip a lot of these fights. I forget where the secret exit is or whatever. There's not a... Um, I don't think there's a secret exit in the sense that there's an unlockable thing. I just think there's a, like, a shortcut through the level. I just forget where it is. Bam. Also, I never noticed this, but uh, if you look down there where it says I got 31 lives, it also has have three stars. That's three uses of this power. I actually never noticed that. So, three, two, one... I'm actually going to just keep this and fight the next guy. Okay. 
is... Oh, hammer, nice. Didn't do a whole lot of damage to him, but not a big deal. Thank you. And then throw a coconut. I think they're coconuts. I don't know. They, they don't look like coconuts at all. Are they like durians or something like that? I, I don't know. They look like something. It's probably something very Japanese. I just don't know. But when I was a kid, I always said they were coconuts, even though they clearly don't look like coconuts. Oh my god, I ran right into his arms. It's actually a very dangerous power to have with him, so I'm just going to not have it. Come on, shoot something at me. No, damn it. I think he might be the most dangerous um, mini boss. He's so. I find him unpredictable. Like Bugsy, I'm so used to him now. Got throw. It's been so long since we got throw. Throw. I think throw might be the like rarest one in the game. Maybe maybe not as much as say like UFO or anything, but still. Come on, give me bugs. No, give me bugs, man. Thank you. Bam. I think it only takes two hits. See, this guy's easy because he's he's very predictable. But he's slow too. But friggin' turtle guy whose name I actually don't know uh Tossy the turtle I don't know <laughs> I find him way harder and we got the fireball guy I think this is like the order that you see them because it's really weird that no it wouldn't be because I saw Bugsy before I saw the turtle but it's weird that, that the fireball guy is the last one I mean he is the last one you see in normal gameplay but like he's fireball you know what I mean you'd think I don't know I just don't picture him as like a really crazy difficult one to, to deal with and... Oh, perfect. This is the last time you see Wheel. Actually, this, this level is the last time you see a lot of powers. Oh, no. Never mind. Where was that music then? Maybe it's not from this. I don't know. Oh, well, this is... This is the kind of the area that, um... Ah, frick. That, um... Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. Melee was, like, based off of was the Fountain of Dreams. Not as good in this game, obviously, but... Ah, shit. I'm doing really badly. But yeah, this is three bosses in a row. Um, it's okay if you die, uh, because you start at the boss you were at. So it's not like... You don't need to do all three bosses one after another in a single life. You know, too hard for the kids. And for me, sometimes. Okay. Nice. Got a good pattern here. Okay, cool. Ah, jeez. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could... Oh, damn. I didn't know you could go that far off uh, the screen, dude, dude, dude. Shit. Oh, I didn't... I can't believe that didn't hit me. There we go. Awesome. So that's, that's the end of the game. Bye. No, it's not. Um, so in tradition of Kirby games, uh, I think this Kirby... This is the first Kirby game that really, really did it. Shing! Oh, my God. That's so cool. Sorry, that is... Badass for Kirby for the NES. So now it is a spaceship shooter. A uh, fairly easy one. I have the Star Rod. The Star Rod is this game's ultimate weapon. Uh, you can only use it against the last two bosses, like you see. It's basically sword, but with uh, unlimited projectiles, which is awesome. But yeah, that parallax scrolling in the background, um, that shouldn't be possible on the NES. So, bravo. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a hard spaceship shooter, especially when you play a lot of them. Um, I like spaceship shooters, and I'm fairly good at them. Fairly good at them. Not super amazing. Um, but this is, like, obviously nothing. And... Oh, yeah, you also have a time limit? I should have said that. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. So that was weird and bullshit. Like, I don't know why that happened. I don't know why I'm having trouble running this game on the retro and now on the officially, un uh, like, released friggin... Uh, Switch Online version of the game. I don't know if it's because I got too low on the parallax scrolling that the game can't handle it, but then it's like, then you shouldn't release it on the damn thing. I don't know, maybe it was just a weird freak error. I have no idea. Very odd. I was figured I'd come back and do that fight again because it's like such a friggin' fast fight. I did, however, learn on my way back. So, so when it kicked me out, it didn't save anything. This game is an auto-saving game, and it didn't save that I was there, so I had to do everything from... Uh, the last, from the beginning of the couple episodes ago, Orange Ocean. But anyways, um, I, I did learn that, that mini-boss room in the last episode. I learned that, uh, that, that secret exit that I was talking about, or a secret entrance to that mini-boss tower was there. And it's also a lot harder, because it's not really a skip. You only fight four bosses instead of all of them. Um, but 
the uh, the turtle and Bugsy are different colors and move way faster. I don't think I've ever fought them like that before. So that was really cool. It was like a red version of the turtle, and he was just brutally fast. It was crazy. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to grab the star this time when I kill this guy. Night Nightmare is his name, by the way. Um, he's actually a... Um, Assist trophy, I believe, in uh, Super Smash Brothers. He's almost dead again. Damn it. And there we go. I'm just gonna grab this and follow him. Against the evil Waluigi! No, not really. It's like a weird vampire nightmare thing, and he's got like, a tornado for a body. That's how you hurt him, is the tornado. I love how you can see through his cape. Very cool shit. If you hit him anywhere else, he does deflects it like that. So, there, this is one of the easier ones to hit. You actually hit him with the, um, if you, you can jump into him, that counts as a hit. But I think that does less damage, so I'm not even going to try it. Oh, watch out. Big machine gun blast, you just do this. You can be really precise with your aim, but he's not a hard boss. Careful there, he's always going to do that. And just, as long as he's on the floor, you're good. Nice. Yeah, he's not a hard boss. He's just kind of cool looking. Bam. Oh, no, no! Ho, ho! Precise. That hand is a uh, that hand's hitbox is a lot bigger than you'd think it would be. That ah, shit. Oof, that was close. And whoa, just in time. I thought that was gonna be too early. But he's just about ah shit. He's just about dead. Like two more hits now. Good music for the last boss too. Oh, that too low. Yes, yeah, too low. Yeah, I say, he hasn't done his upside down one yet. There we go. Oh, I killed him when he was upside down. Yay! There we go, guys. That is Kirby's Adventure. And hopefully the game won't friggin' die on me before we get to see the ending, because that's uh, kind of bullshit. <laughs> they are also one of the strongest foot soldiers in the game. It's kind of weird that they put them right there, but they them up fast enough. And here we got our first boss. Rocksteady! Yeah! Rocksteady and 98% of, of the bosses in this game follow the exact same style of pattern. Damn. And maybe I can get a hit, maybe. Uh, they usually have some sort of long-range attack with uh, Rocksteady. It's this machine gun that fires up in the air if you're in the air, down the ground if you're on the ground. And uh, a kick or a punch of some sort, which will knock you away. And then a kind of ramming animation. Uh, Rocksteady doesn't do the ramming as much, he does the kicking and the, the machine gun thing a lot more. But basically my strategy for bosses in this game is always thusly. Um, is dying apparently, jeez. Uh, it's to jump kick and jump away, and jump kick and jump away, and jump kick and jump away. And now he's almost dead. That, that's the only way I can defeat bosses, because if you stay there and attack them, they're gonna hit you immediately. So, keep doing what I'm doing, I guess. Or do your own thing. This is what I've been doing since I was a little kid, so it's what always worked for me. Almost dead. He was about to do that ramming attack. I don't know if you saw him, like, shoulder his gun, but... Come on. Almost dead. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Nice. Alright, let's go save April. April, I've got you. I'm trying to think now. Uh, Adventure Island 2. Thriller Safari. Mega Man 2. That was pretty much it. Watch out for Bebop. Bebop is pretty much almost identical to uh, Rock City, except instead of a um, machine gun, he's got this, like, laser gun, which hits for a lot wider radius. He won't uh, shoot up in the air. He also likes to tackle a lot more. So, be very careful. He's doing very poorly. Very poorly. Ugh. What's frustrating about him, too, is that he takes forever to do his dash, so it's like, I really would rather him just do it to get out of my way, but I kind of have to get out of his way, and that's frustrating. Also, I love the, the destroyed car up there. It's like, ow. Ah, shit. Also, yeah, I should mention this. Careful the pothole there, or the pothole, but the sewer, sewer manhole, whatever. You'll lose a sa exactly one bar of health every time you fall into it, so just be really careful. Oh, he's almost dead. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm screwed. I might make this. We gotta be really lucky, though. That! No! Oh! If you had knocked me into the bot and the, uh, the manhole, and just be dead. Shit, there we go. Dead. You have three lives, as you can see. Uh, the zero counts in this game, so it says two, and now it says one, but it actually means I have two lives. 
So, there we go. Ah, uh, so, yeah, here we go. The easiest boss in the game, Baxter Stockman, who has no uh, hurt box. He cannot hurt you. Uh, he has no attacks. He drops Mausers. And that's the only way that this boss can attack you. So I'm just going to use my special move to take out Mausers and Tego. Bash your Dogman. He's got a decent amount of HP, but it's just fun to wail on him. It's kind of weird because that makes him the boss of this uh, this level, not Bebop. So he's way easier. Come on. Ah, shit. He just has a lot of HP. There we go. He's almost done already. Get away from me. Come on. Die already. Oh. It's kind of weird that he's in the air, too, because it makes him hard to hit. There we go. Easy enough. Easy enough. Oh, we're at the end here. Yay. This is... I don't remember this guy from the show. I think he was made for the game. But his one attack... Uh, he doesn't ram you. He likes to throw rocks, as you can see. And 90% of the time, when you hit him, he's going to run to one of the sides, like the side he's on right now, and just grab a rock. So if you do this, he's probably the easiest normal boss. Because, I mean, he can still attack you with, like, smacks. I'm doing really good, by the way. If I perfect this, it'd be amazing. I'd be really happy. Yeah, I'm doing really good. But, yeah, he's he's the... Ah, oh, shit. He's the easiest normal boss, if that makes any sense. As long as you don't let him throw rocks, you're fine. It's almost dead. Ah, crap. Now he's getting away from me. No, this isn't good. He good. Get back in there. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't... Th shit. Mmm... Ah, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, I jumped right into it. Frig, he's like, he's like dead too. That sucks. What a waste of a life. Bam. Yeah, what? Uh, but there's a new uh, turtle that's being added to the new turtle show. And uh, like, people are, I guess, liking her. I don't know if the show's out yet with her yet, but whatever. This is back to Stockman as a bug. It's, he's a lot easier than most of the other bosses. Still annoying. You can kind of get him into a pattern. I'm, I'm failing kind of miserably here. Shit. Whatever. He's still easy. He's not going to kill me or anything. He has no hitbox like the original Baxter Stopman. Uh, he only hurt you with those shots. And he's got like a fly swatter kind of thing. Damn. What you want to do is kind of, yeah, position yourself in between. There we go. Nope. Doing that wrong. It's been a while since I've done this. But you can kind of get him to the corner. And then just go in between his shots like that. Perfect. Not awesome. Ah, I jumped too early. But yeah, it, it makes him pretty damn easy. Got him. There we go. All right, let's tie or untie. Uh, yeah, what's her face? April. What lives you're gonna get? We are at the boss. Okay, so I don't remember this guy. I know that they're like a a form of they're like a life form from Dimension X or at least another dimension. I don't know if it's specifically Dimension X. And this guy, I think, is a I think he's a specific character, but I do not know his name. Uh, please tell me below. I know some of you guys are old enough to have watched the old Turtle stuff, so you know who he is. But I do not know his name. I'm gonna call him General like Slag or something. I don't know why that name pops up. Maybe that's his name. Who knows? Maybe I guessed it properly, but I'm gonna highly doubt it. <laughs> so what do you call him that? You fight two versions of this guy, just one and this one. Sorry about like the boring boss strategy, by the way. I know it's dull that I just do this over and over again, but the best, best boss strategy for me. I'm not doing very good at all, actually. I'm actually kind of screwing up really badly. I was hoping that with full HP because of that uh, pizza, I'd be doing way better than this, but I guess not. Please don't have too much HP. Jump away, jump back. The thing is, you gotta really, really, really time your jumps. If you can, if you can time your jump like on like the frame you land, you're gonna get out of there without getting hit. But man, you wait a couple frames and you are getting hurt by it, like that punch or something, like right there. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with positioning too, but I don't know. If you're good at the jumping as soon as you hit the ground, then you should be fine. Just gonna really time it. Doing okay now. Doing okay. Ah damn. Had to open my stupid mouth. Ah, shit. That's not good. That's not good. I'm screwed. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna die. Ooh, maybe not. Almost dead. Come on, Phil. Don't make that mistake with that weather guy. Ha! Ah. Oh! Nice! Alright, the safe splinter. I also like how he's got that... I like the death sound of the enemies that blow up. And then they blow up. 
like Oni or, or like a samurai uh, demon of some sort. So I, I just thought his design was very cool. But he's frustrating because he has a long reach and his head comes off and his head will hurt you. Shit. All right. Do some damage. Get that pie. Oh, pizza, 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 pizza. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. So, yeah, what happens if you just use your normal attacks? You just can't hit a lot. But, I mean, I'm going to get hit a lot because of the head anyway, so I might as well just attack him. Wail on him. Come on, I can do it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, so close. No. Come on, come over here. Eh. No. No. Ah, shit. I really want to do this in one thing. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, that sound is awesome. Well, shit. I really could have used that extra life, but I guess not. But, going to the last level with... Oh, watch out for the door here, by the way. Bam! Love that. Hello, Adrenal Slag 2. I don't know. Uh, his name is Snestrunk. His stuff is really good. But if you start watching his stuff from the, the beginning, it's like, wow, this is low quality, man. Like, the, the video quality is okay. It's clearly from an emulator. But the audio quality is decent at best. And then sometimes there's live action stuff and it's really bad quality. But you're like, well, people really like this because he's got a lot of subscribers. So you start watching it and you're like, damn... Yeah, they like watching because this guy's really good. So, I like to think that I've got the good video and audio quality for the episodes, but I'd like to have the opening and closing look professional. And, I don't know, I don't know what else I can do to make the actual quality of the content any better. I gotta be me, right? I think my problem is I also didn't advertise very much. I don't, like, go to forums and, like, I have videos, watch them. I don't know. I don't know how people edit, or edit for... I don't know how people get their, 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 their stuff out. I really don't understand how they do it. But, hey, all more power. I mean, I, if you like my stuff, I would love it if you guys would share my videos to people you think would like my stuff. Uh, I'm going to die here, by the way. I am doing really poorly. Oh, my God. Like, two hits left, probably. I don't want to be sent to the... I mean, I'm going to anyways, because there's two bosses after this. Oh, my God. I might make this. If I can make it to Krang, I'd be very happy. That my first continue. Come on. Oh, my God. I did it. Wow. Can I get electrocuted? No, I guess that, that hitbox is done. Yay! Well, I made it to the last couple bosses. That's pretty cool. Huzzah! And uh, it's a transition, so I hope that means... Can I choose my turtle again, or am I forced to be... I uh, don't know. Okay, we can start here. Oh, awesome. All right. That is very cool. Knowing that, I might be a little bit more um, aggressive, I guess. I like my, my, my score stays. Shit. Shit. Come on. This has got the lines. Because to be honest, Shredder is actually a lot easier than Krang is. If I can beat Krang, I know I can beat Shredder. So. But I guess I do need a decent amount of health against Shredder. It's not like I'm going to go, like, hitless. Come on. Well, he's slow at least. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Krang is really big, which means his hitbox is fairly big. Which means it's active for the entire active, um hurt frames of my attack, of my special, so I can usually hit him twice per special. But I mean, I mean, it's nice because I'm hitting him a lot, but I'm getting hit right back. Come on. Yeah, do good now. Ah, shit. Ah. No, oh, come on. Frig, that's one down. Two more to go. I wonder if Krang counts as a, a point. I don't even know if Krang does the, um, the uh, flashing colors when he gets down on health. If he doesn't, if he does, I mean, then it's taking him a while to get there, because holy crap. Oh my god, how many hits do you take? Yeah, it's a robot body, a very large robot body, so I kind of get it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just wail on him. Shit. Yay! Awesome! And Krang tries to get away. Doesn't matter what you do, he'll get away. I'm invincible! Okay. It's not the Krang voice. It's more like, I'm invincible! I can't do it. I can't do it at all. Here's Shredder. Greatest music. Oh, love this fight. Mm, so good. Ow. So what? Ah, shit. This is not good. Okay, cool. Alright, so the thing with Shredder is, he's two guys, obviously. Um, he, one one is one is the real one, one is not. Oh shit. Uh, 
Okay, good. When one gets away from you like that, he... Oh my god, he's right to do it. Okay, good. Shredder has two attacks, and that is the slash, and he has, like, a beam that changes you back to a tiny... Oh, there it is! Oh! That kills you in a single hit. And the bad... Or the good... The bad... The, the real Shredder can do it, the fake Shredder can do it, so be careful. The fake Shredder will get his helmet knocked off. When that happens, try to go for the real Shredder. It's okay if you kill the fake Shredder, he just makes another Shredder, it's not really a big deal. Now, what makes Shredder easier than most bosses? Because uh, Shredder is the easiest, like, regular boss, I guess. I know I said that for the weird polar bear. It's because Shredder doesn't follow the same AI that other bosses do. He actually closely follows something that the... Uh, he, he's more of a... Uh, oh my god, is he gonna do it? No, okay. He's more of a foot soldier than anything else. So, yeah, stay over there. Yeah, do that. Mm. Attacking the real Shredder. Uh, he, he has more of a... The foot soldier kind of AI. So he's a lot easier to, like, hit and get out of the way of. I know him still really badly, though, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do. Okay. You'll know Shredder's close to being dead because his helmet will fall off. Like, when you notice that both helmets have fallen off, you're good to go. There's no, like, he starts flashing kind of thing. So that might be the real Shredder. Who knows? Nope, it was not. Once you get the real Shredder's helmet off, he will not spawn fake Shredders anymore, so. Just kind of keep going. They're actually doing really good right now. This is actually really good. Okay, good. Nope, nope, careful when they get apart. Careful when they get apart. He might do the shrinky thingy. Nope. Okay, good. All right. Come on. So it's a shame you don't know which one's the real Shredder. And then you can just kind of aim for it afterwards. Okay, what's happening now? Uh, don't use it. Oh, thank God. I've been really lucky because that thing kills you in a single sh uh, shot. It's the only problem with, with this whole fight, to be really honest. Doing pretty decent, actually. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, good. So that's the real Shredder. The one on my left. And now it's... Yeah, there we go. So he will not spawn a real shark. If I get hit one more time, I'm screwed. Oh, my God. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, good. It is uh, pretty cool. I think they might have used the same 3D model as, like, um, the... Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they were really kind of like weird little crow enemies, uh, or little, little little crow slash vulture enemies of Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country One, except they you know enlarged them and put a little uh, little pirate outfit on them. It's a really really easy boss. It's really just grab the eggs, smack them in the noggin, and somebody else will do this, and now we have to wait for an egg to drop. It's usually the slower egg, so this guy right here. Point. Oh no, guess not. Thought it was. Oh, hmm. Is it this one? There we go. Oh, I guess it's just the, the egg that's fastest. I don't know, I thought there was like a pattern to it, but I guess not. It must be random. And smack. Very easy boss, though. Like, oh, nice. That's definitely the RNG you want there. And he's dead. You're dead. It just looks very cool. Look at that. So, I, I've always said that Cleaver is the sword itself, but, I mean, there's a hand from the lava kind of doing its thing, but the second you just kind of hit it, it kind of uh, does its own thing. Well, actually, it just kind of does this, but I'm pretty sure the cleaver can, uh, can fly, can't he? Doesn't, he? doesn't he fly after you after a while? Pretty sure he does. Has it been that long since I played Donkey Kong Country 2 that I don't remember that stuff? Boink. And... Yeah, here we go. And he's going to come back up. So I'm assuming Cleaver is obviously the Cleaver that <laughs> he's wielding. It's not the Lava Monster. Either that or the Lava Monster is just dead now. And we're just fighting the Enchanted Sword. But it's still fairly easy. It's just get to the other side. And some Crem... Or not Crem Coins. Bennett Coins. Come here. Boink. Very easy. Yeah, the bosses in this game are not hard. Like, at all. But they make for fun diversions. Plus, you get to see that nice background up back. It's really, really cool. There we go. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, Kloopy. Kloopy just farted. It was a loud one, too. Too smelly. I'm trying to have the uh, the dogs downstairs with me. 
I almost said Diddy's Honk Quest, because this is also a goose game. This is Cudgel! Cudgel has a contest! That's the name of his level. He's a fairly, um, boring boss. It's not really much to him, it's just get out of his way when he drops. And then he'll do that, and then he'll give me TNT, and then he will jump again. And then you just toss it at him. That's basically it. After you get a couple of hits in, he starts, um... Starts, uh, doing a couple different things. He just, like, starts jumping a little bit, but not off-screen. Also, be in the air when he jumps down, because, um... Yeah, because, uh, you'll get stunned for a bit, and as he gets faster, he's probably gonna jump on you. So... You can tell they didn't have a lot of animation with them, so like, well, we, we should probably make him jump because we don't have a lot of animation. <laughs> like, he's fairly detailed, it's just he's very sort of dull because he doesn't do much. There we go, now he's kind of just gonna do this. <laughs> it's a fairly lame boss. Probably, probably the worst idea for a boss in this game. Because it's just super easy. Also, just be careful when you get, like, gets a little close, he does... Oh, shit. Oh, no, damn. He will, uh, hit you with that giant club. Alright, we're almost done. Go. Cool. That was close. One more. There we go. Nice. And in the background, I love that. That's pretty cute. Alright, on to, I would probably say the fan favorite world of this game. The last... Last um, Donkey Kong Country game in DKC one, there was uh, a, a, a zinger, which I think was the queen. It's a queen bee. It was one of the bosses. Now we got the king. He's actually um, a way better boss than this because you get to you know actually shoot projectiles right in the stinger, right there, right in his butt. And then he kind of follows you around a little bit. Does this? He's not a hard boss, but I actually like him. He's one of my favorite bosses in Donkey Kong Country. He goes kind of back up. It gets faster, and that's harder to hit. Can't believe that hit me. Shit. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. After you uh, shoot him a few times, he actually transforms into a bunch of smaller um, zingers. Where are you? There you are. Ah. Nice. And... No. Nope. Careful here. He's really fast now. Holy crap. Cool. There we go. And then it's just this. Take out the other zingers that aren't him, and then take him out. He just follows you around. But I mean, with squawks, you have so much mobility, so it's not a really big deal. Oh, jeez. There we go. That was a fun boss. I actually really like that one. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Oh, God, he's not dead. Oh, wait. Oh, he is dead. <laughs> That actually scared the crap out of me. Do you remember Crow or whatever that we killed in the first level? First world? Well, he's back, and he's pissed, and he's dead. And he's got babies? Yes. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, you know what? I want that extra hit. <laughs> Not even gonna try it. Not even gonna try it. So, what happened was, after you killed Crow, he was throwing all his eggs. So you're fighting Crow and all of his, uh, all of his baby, un unborn, undead baby birds. <laughs> this is very dark. But the one you have to kill is the real one, which spawns, for some reason, a barrel, which, for some reason, hurts the ghost bird. This game's weird, but I'm okay with that. Then you get to the top and watch out for the, again, very real eggs. Shit, that was stupid of me. Oh, well, this is a much better boss than the original version of Crow, obviously, as you can tell. There's, you know, more to it. Plus, I like the, I like the platforming aspect of it. Boink. It's a fairly easy boss still, though. You're just avoiding these vultures, which are fairly easy to do. Because, I mean, they're just doing the same thing that the vultures do in the regular style of level. And you just kind of hit them, and then you just kind of go high again. Where am I? Where am I? There you are. My hooks. Oh, God. At least it's not like Slime Climb, where all the, um... Slime is coming at you. But now things can come at you in a horizontal and vertical way, and I can accidentally hit with my toe. So this is going to be dangerous. This is, that's the last one, though, I think. So careful, 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 careful. Hit this guy. Careful, careful. And is that it? There we go. And oh, little sparkles and whatnot. Still a fairly easy boss. The bosses aren't crazy hard in this game, but 
we finally confront Captain K. Rule. Oh no! Poor Donkey Kong. Oh, oh, ow! Jeez, that is harsh. But, this is the base of this guy. He's got a big blunderbuss. I don't know what you call those. Um, big old old school shotgun. And you throw, oh damn. Throw the um, cannonball into it. And that counts as a hit. Just like in Donkey Kong Country 1, it's basically that same thing uh, over and over again. You just basically have to survive until he drops one of those things. It's just like the first one where you had to just survive until he allowed you to jump on him by throwing his crown. So that's this whole boss, basically, but it does evolve. Like, a lot happens here. But in the meantime, take a look at that cool background. I love this Super Nintendo controller there. One of the best controllers ever made, in my opinion. Okay, there we go. Eh, careful. Ah, oh, I didn't think that was going to make it. And the cannonball comes out a little faster every time, too. It's just a cool idea for boss. We did it! Yay! But no, of course it's not it. But there's a DK barrel in case we need it, which is awesome. And now a second form. I used to do projectiles. This is easy enough. I've definitely got the good platforming know-how and reaction time. Just because of the yellow devil type fights in uh, Mega Man. It also sucks that the DK barrel leaves once you get him once. So it's like, ha you can't just save it forever. Easy. Come on, man. Get better than that. I'm filling the blanks. YouTuber extraordinaire. That's what you get. You have balls in your hole. Wait, what? Love the cartoony. I, I do like when he's shaking off the, the soot or whatever. He's got like the, uh, like his eyes get like half closed. So he's like, ugh. Like it's like a, like you gotta be shitting me kind of look. It's very fun. Yeah, he's not a hard boss though. But then again, it neither, ah shit. Neither is DKC1's last boss. All it takes though is a couple, you know, small mistakes and then you're screwed. And that's what I'm worried about right now, so I really need uh, another DK barrel, please. Get away from that cannonball as much as I can because it's easy to get hit by it when you're not paying attention. Is that it? Nope. But I do get a DK barrel out of it, so I'm happy. Cool. I'm gonna just turn into Dixie. She's definitely the more precise character. Oh yeah, weird fogs. I forget what they do. I try really hard not to hit them. So, I don't really remember what they do. I think the blue one slows you down. Oh, also, he turns invisible! Because, you know, this game makes sense. There we go. Um, purple, I think, changes your um, your controls, I believe. If he does the purple ones in this fight. Oh, red. I don't even know what red does. Red might slow you down. Um, blue might stop you completely. I'm not sure. Okay, we're doing good, though. Whoa! Shit. That didn't... Ah, that's not good. That means I gotta do that part again, too, so... Frick. Oh! I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit there. So yeah, I got too close to him there, which sucks. He only has one hit, though, now. I believe. Okay, you're gonna turn weirdly invisible for no reason. Nope. Okay, these are the purple ones. I think these make you change directions. I... Ah! Uh, yep, they do. That's fine. What are you gonna do? Okay. Just kind of avoid them. Just kind of avoid them until the purple stuff ah, disappears. I don't know if it does, though. Come on. Come on. No. Damn it. Ah, that sucks. It's right at the end, too. Ah. So, yeah, with Dixie, it's super, super easy to just fly over those. And then uh, I'm just going to become Dixie, or Diddy, because he's faster. So that way I can avoid this a little bit better. Ugh, so scary. Okay. Come on, there we go. Nice. Is that it? Are we finally done? Yes, he is. Yay! We did it! Got last creme coin. All 75 creme coins. Oh no, he's back! But Don Kong's like, nah, you're done. Here we go. Uh, looks like King K. Rool has... Uh, Captain K. Rool survived. Of course he has. Why wouldn't he have? I love that little thing. But here we go. He's already starting with the... Uh, smog and everything. It's the same basic idea except a much more advanced version. I think you only gotta hit him once, though. You gotta survive all this. Then just hit him once. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Jeez. Okay. We're good. We're fine. Holy shit. 
Thank God for Dixie. Phew, yeah, the slow and then fast. And do two now. Bam, bam. And three. Ah, oh, I can't believe I made that with Dixie. And then up, down. Oh, no. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh, there we go. I'm dead. I'm screwed. Oh, oh, is this it though? So I beat it. There we go. Holy shit. That was very close to the end though, because I don't think I would have been able to survive another round. Because Dixie is clearly the best thing for the boss there. So, Diddy gives no shits. He's just like, I just want to juggle. Still have all my hits, right? Okay, good. Plenty of hits. I right, plenty of candles here for this guy, too. It's pretty much just this. It's not hard. There we go. Did it! Here's the first boss. It's the bat. He's super easy. And... There we go. This is fairly easy. There we go. That was it. <laughs> oh, no holy water now. Let's see how well this goes. Oh, geez, she just came right after me. And a lot of the bosses are really battles of attrition. Come on. Okay, good. Whew! Alright. Two bosses down, four to go. Alright, whatever. Um, go here, activate the bosses, I guess, and just go right back up. And they kind of can't get you up here, so... Kind of go here a little bit, and then, uh... You just kind of wail on them like this. It's kind of funny. I don't think, yeah, the, the crosses can't hit them. Which is kind of a shame. Because that would make them even easier. But, like, that's a really... This is the easiest boss because of this. I mean, obviously, um, if there's, like, tricks and whatnot, that'll make them... Other enemies even easier. Oh, uh, shit. Get away from me, guys. Oh, damn. Screwed that up. Could just... Ah, that was dumb. Nope. I won't try to be a hero. There is technically time, but it's it's really not a factor in this game. Yeah, there we go. Phew. Well, not a single death so far. That's really good. All about timing. Nope. Messed that up. But I got a head start on him, so I'm just going to wail on him. Got him. Nice. Holy crap. That wasn't what I was trying to do. Try this out. See if this will work. Just... Just do this. Don't even... Don't look back. Don't look back. Oh my god, it's gonna work. Ah, good. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, let's do this. At least attempt it. Wow, I barely jumped that. Okay, good. Okay. Nice. Oh, I, thought I was going to hit with his body. I'm doing great. Might as well get the holy water now. Ah, shit. Ah, I didn't get a hit on him. Okay. Four more hits. And... Nice. And that becomes the Cookie Monster! Come on. Yeah, he's a very weird boss, and it's basically just this. Am I doing any damage to him? Like, barely anything? Oh, I need to hit his head. Oh, I'm stupid. But yeah, this is it. This is the final boss. It's a lot easier than Dracula. Just gotta be careful. But Holy Water at least keeps him in place for a little bit, so that's kind of cool. 
Mm, jump high, please. Thank you. Ah, shit. I didn't know you'd, throw, you'd do that, actually, at all, considering you weren't the entire fight. But you're basically dead. Yeah! We did it! We beat Castlevania. Very difficult game from my childhood. Well, I'm already dead. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. I'm still gonna start writing. Oh, wow, he's like taking me over. Oh, game over. Not a big deal. I lose all my hearts. But that is not really that big a deal, so. He's way easier in, uh, than he is in the first game. Well, kind of, I guess. Oh, please don't knock me out of the door. Come on, die. Oh, man. So I'd rather get hit by his sights. Oh, maybe not. Oh, damn. Wow, he's actually fairly difficult. He's got a lot of. A lot of things. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter how many times I die here because I don't have any experience or any uh, hearts. Let's see what... Oh, I can't use this, can I? No, because I don't have any hearts. Is he weak against the dagger at all? Let me get by you here. Excuse me. It's funny because he's easy to, like, wail on, but he takes a lot of hits, clearly. Wow, there we go. And for that, we get the Golden Knight. Um, so let's use our dagger. Okay, well, that sucked. Oh, wow. That, like, lingers. Yeah, look at that. This is gonna go well. Oh, that was easy. And there we go. We have the Magic Cross. Anyways, so yeah. If you just do this, this is enough to kill him. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I'm doing it badly. Yeah, he's gonna get free. He's getting free. Uh-oh. That's okay, though. Because I've got laurels! <laughs> we got lots of them, too. Let's just do that. Now I can just sit here and literally just do this. What an amazing game this was. We beat it, Dracula. We did it. I can't get out. What's up? What's happening? Oh god. Oh god. And it's Ridley! So, first boss fight. Um, if you didn't know already, you cannot win this fight. Um, in fact, you are supposed to lose on purpose. Um, you can't die here, you just kind of take a lot of hits. Um, or you hit him enough, and then he'll just run away. Either way. Um, so basically, what I'm doing right now, if I, if I want to go faster, I just run into him and die on purpose. Oh, are we done? Nope, not yet. Oh, there we go. One last thing. Great thing. Why can't I get out? Oh god. Oh my god. Obviously I knew this was gonna happen, but it's still fun to <laughs> fun to get into the act. Boo 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 boo, shoot in this this shiny chest. I'm gonna turn into uh my missiles. Ah miss I miss with my missiles. Hit those guys. You can um break his uh his um eggs or whatever, egg bombs. You can actually uh get missiles and stuff from them, which is really cool. Oh shit, we're already uh busting up a pretty good. Nah, no missiles. It's okay. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Almost dead. Oh, jeez. He is not happy. There we go. Easy enough. Woo! Woo! Explosions everywhere. Here's our first boss. Our first real boss. Not very hard, but... This is, um... Something spawn? I don't know what it's called. But it only opens its mouth every so often. I'm getting hit. But I'm getting, you know... I'm getting some uh, life out of it, so it's not really a big deal. Open up, damn you. And you want to try to get him with missiles, because missiles are always better than what I've got right now for, uh, for uh, a weapon. Come on, open up. I right, have missiles ready. He doesn't take a lot of hits, and he's not hard. Like, this is the entire fight. But, I mean, the music's really good, so that's cool. Come on, open up again. Yeah, I definitely don't have the speedrun stats, uh, strats going on. <laughs> Just taking my time. I'm taking my sweet little time. Ah, shit. I'm getting hit a lot. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, damn. Come on, little spores. Give me some health. I'm okay for missiles right now. Stop giving me missiles.
Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's going faster. Oh, jeez. That's a way faster. Oh, dang. There we go. Nice two hits. Oh, we slowing down a little bit. Oops. Wasting. Wasting my stuff. Eh. Nope. Nope. Damn. Oh, it slowed down a lot, though, so... Pretty, pretty much fine right now. There's an open in the middle. It seems to be just always the middle and the top right, which is kind of weird. Oh. Almost there. Yeah, it's fairly easy if I just do this. It's not like you can hit me. I gotta avoid this, this little spores, but it's not bad. They don't seem to do a lot of damage, so... There we go. Bam, 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 bam. he's dead. Fairly easy. I mean, the game's just kind of getting you into it. Game gets, we're just gonna reap our rewards. And, uh... Oh, holy crap. What? Oh, God. Oh, no. Careful. Careful. I can blow this up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kraid, you've gained some weight. Yeah, this is the real Kraid here. Here we go. Oof. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him with some missiles. Oh, oh, oh. He's a lot bigger than he used to be. Come on, open up. I'm wasting my things here. Nope. Back away. Back away. You can also use super missiles here. You know, try to do. Come on, open up. Come on, open up. Do I have to shoot him first? I probably have to shoot him in the face first before he opens up. Probably people being like, Phil, you're doing nothing here, man. Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna get out of the spikes. Yeah, crazy's not too difficult. I'm, like, joking around when I'm with the difficulty. He's not crazy or anything. Ah, damn. Damn. But he likes to get in your face. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, I missed one. But still, getting one super missile is definitely fun. Woo! Ah, damn, 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 damn. Oof, I'm doing bad. I'm doing bad. Come on, come on over here. No, don't back up. Damn, you... I don't like how much you, like, fly... You don't, like, fly that far, but... It's enough to really be annoying, you know what I mean? Ah, damn it. Damn it, Kraid, you're being a bitch. <laughs> being a little bitch. You can actually kill Kraid, by the way, before he even, uh... Before he, he goes up the screen. Like, it's really kind of fun. You can glitch out the room a little bit. There we go! Got that last super missile. Right in his face. Rah, you're dead. You're dead, Kraid. Alright. Uh, oh, God. This is Crocomire. He's a big boy. Just kind of hit him when his mouth is open. He's like a... Almost like a Kraid Jr. Uh, well. Gotta time... Gotta time my, uh... My charge shots more properly if I'm gonna do that properly. But I'd rather just use missiles. Um, this is a weird boss because I don't think you can kill him under, like, regular circumstances. If that makes any sense. Uh, he doesn't have, like, a life bar. Can just gotta keep doing this and, uh, get him to back up. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. There we go. Back up. Back up. Pretty sure you can, like, pump full of a lot of missiles and he backs up a bunch, but... Oh, shit. That didn't work for some reason. Yeah, I know he's got missiles. Not a big deal. It's a very, very common drop, so... Almost there. Almost there. Oh, we got him! There we go! That is the end of Croquemire. Has an awesome death, too. Look at this. Oh my god, the poor thing. Oh. How's it even moving? It has no muscle left. There we go. Oh, poor Crocomire. There's stuff over there, but we're not going to get there yet because we see that there's more of those little weird blocks there. So let's keep going. This is an easy boss, though. I used a lot of missiles. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Gonna happen? You gonna do it? Stay longer than I thought. There we go! Oh no! It's Crocomari's back! Alright, so in this phase of the game, just stand there and do nothing. You win. Yeah. 
He is fairly dangerous. It's a very small area, too. Watch out. He sucks. He can take a lot of, a lot of hits from you. Where is he? I think this guy blinks a lot, too. Oh, no, he doesn't blink. Good. I was about to say, you might not even be able to see him half the time because of that. But... Oh, jeez, I'm using Super Mystics. Phil. Oh, my God. He sucks. I hate him. He drops these guys, and it's super frustrating, and then he appears suddenly, and you're like, I hope I can get a shot on him or something. Try to get some Super Missile shots on him. Ah, damn it. I'm really bad at him, too. He's probably my like least favorite boss, because I'm just garbage at him. Where are you? Nice. But I think if you use super missiles, he kind of goes crazy. Yes, he goes crazy. Oops, I'm doing bad at this. Shit. There you go. But, I mean, you're getting a lot of hits on him when you use super missiles, so... Oh my god. Come on. Open your eyes. Oh my god. You can only hit him with one super missile, too. Yeah, then he does that. I'm gonna keep switch to normal missiles so he doesn't do this forever. I think that's what speedrunners try to do. They try not to beat him with super missiles because he does this and it's super frustrating, as you can see. It takes him a lot of time. Plus, I'm like almost halfway dead already. I don't even know if I'm doing well against him. Open. Nope. Damn. Yeah, this is why I was saying he's like a super annoying boss, and I really don't like fighting him. Damn. These guys take 20 hits off each, or 20 life off. Yeah, so he only does that if you hit him with a super missile. But I can get, at least I can get things by doing that and uh, blowing up the uh, the fireball that he sends out. Come on, give me some fireballs, because I really do need them now. At least they only take one hit, too. Come on, where are you? Oh, there we go. Got him. Well, at least we beat him. That's what matters. Fantoon down. Fantoom. Is it Fantoom or Fantoon? I don't even know. But now that he's dead, that is two of the four major bosses we need to in order to get into Torium. So yay. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh god. Boss time. I totally forgot about this. Oh, hello. Basically just hit him in his head. I don't even know this guy's name, to be really honest. Oh, whoops. Wrong way, Phil. Getting hit a lot, but it doesn't seem to matter. He doesn't mind that I'm taking my time hitting him with super missiles. Probably gonna start going super fast, though. Yep, yes he is. Oh my goodness, that is very fast. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. that was easy. That was very easy. Very weird looking area with floaty boxes, which is a little odd. And first thing first, let's take care of those gun things. Do these hurt me? No, they don't even hurt me. Bam, there we go. It's a very weird boss. If you remember this boss, you know that there's two ways to kill it. There's the regular way of shooting its soft underbelly, and then there's another way. I'm going to try the other way, but basically, if you don't know how to do the, the crazy way, then just, you know, attack its soft underbelly. Boom, 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 like that. It does a decent amount of damage to me, too. Oh, he's nice and slow now. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, and he's got me. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's get the... What is this called? The friggin' <laughs> grapple beam. And just keep shooting till you grab. Come on. Got it. And then just let nature do the work for you. That's it. That's the boss, believe it or not. 
It's way easier than the normal way. And it's like, oh, it's corpses just kind of there. It's kind of there. And then his babies are like, we'll help you, Bobby! And except they're like, dum, 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 eating her flesh underneath the sand. That's so gross. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, thank God. New Chozo thing. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no! I mean, I knew it was going to be that. But yeah, we have another... I think it's the chorizo, I think it's called. But, damn. Okay. I actually do not remember how to beat this guy. How do I... Yeah, he grabs your super missiles and throws him back. So, we're not going to use that. How do I take this guy out? Oh, we can use, um... Nice, charge shots. And now that my, um... You know, it's got, it's got a plasma missile, or a plasma beam. I'm pretty powerful. God, so is he, though. He's a lot of damage. Shit. Ugh, right, wrong way, Phil. Come on, man. Oh, wow, lots of super missiles. Which isn't good, because I can't do anything with super missiles. Oh my god, this guy's draining my health. This depth really does that. Oh, oh, is dead? Oh, God, what the hell? There he goes. Jeez, what was that? That was super odd. Anyways, he's done. I hate that I can't get that friggin' missile pack. And this room, I believe, is the... Yes, okay. So, these guys are crazy, as you can see. Oh, jeez. Um, my buddy Ryan, who is a huge Super Metroid fan... How do you kill these guys? Uh, he's a big Super Metroid fan. Oh, damn, there's two of them. And, uh... Oh, that, that's how, when you have to. Um, and he once uh, was saying how he could speedrun the game. And this was before, like, I got into speedruns and stuff. And uh, he got all the way here in, like, I don't know how long, but it, it felt very, like, very good time. Um, but then he died at this room. Because, you know, he's, like, purposely skipping, like, upgrades and stuff. So we all felt bad. He was, like, he was doing it for all of us. Like, we had a little party going on and... Uh, that's just what we happen to do during the party because we're a bunch of dorks, right? So, you know, why not do a Super Metroid speedrun? Um, but he, he was really good at the game. The guy is a big Super Metroid guy. Oh, God. Hello, Ridley. Oh, where'd you go? Ah, he's scary. I really don't like Ridley. <laughs> he's actually fairly difficult because, like, he stays away from you and he's fairly fast. Ah, shit, I'm so bad at this. Do a crazy amount of damage. If you can keep doing that pogo thing, that'd be great. Oh, please let me go. I don't like Ridley bad touch. Where'd you go? No. Eh. Doing okay. He's not doing all that much damage to me. I have zero idea how much health he has, though. Um, playing Super Metroid and or sorry, Zero Mission, Metroid Zero Mission, and and uh, that other one. Fo a fusion. I've done low percent runs on those, and beating Ridley is so actually it's probably faster with my charge being at this point. Um, being super uh, super super uh, yeah, Ridley with like no equipment and no health is so ridiculous. But it is possible. I've done it, but it's just bonkers difficult. Oh, let go. Shit. He's doing a lot more damage right now. I don't have any super missiles. Please be dead soon. Shit, he's doing a lot of damage right now. Oh, he's dead? Nice! Oh, awesome! Wow. Very cool. I bet if I had a bunch of super, more super missiles, like my full super missile thing, you probably would have a lot easier for me, but... And we have the weird walls that you need to take out. They regenerate if you don't take them out fast enough. Oh, oops. Stand here and shit. Come on. There we go. Oh, I got, I got friggin'. I keep forgetting I'm, I don't have to use bomb jumps. I've got, you know, much better ways of doing that. Oh, I should probably just use regular missiles for these guys. Thank god I got so much health because these things aren't doing all that much damage. Which is fine by me. I'm not even avoiding them at this point. I'm just worried that I'm not gonna have any uh, missiles left for Mother Brain! Hello, Mother Brain. How are you? Boink. Oh, I'm gonna break you with a super missile. A couple super missiles. 
One more. There you go. One more. There you go. So, same basic fight for Metroid 1, except much easier. As you can see, not like falling in lava every three seconds. Oh, no, well, there we go. Do it, did it at least once. Oh, I broke the whole glass. There we go. That was it. We did it, guys. We beat Super Metroid. That was awesome. Take that, mother brain. That is seizurific. I'm sorry. Please look away if you have seizures. And if you're having one right now, I'm sorry. So there we go. Let's go. Are you dead? Oh my god, it still hurts me. How much does that hurt me? A decent amount. 30. Oh god. Oh my god. It's my ex-girlfriend. I'm just joking. That's very mean. <laughs> um, can you shoot missiles at you? Yes, I can. Just do that. This is, I don't know, Super Mother Brain? I don't know if she has a different name or anything, but let's uh, do some super missiles. This isn't a crazy hard fight. The end of the game is not that hard. As you can see, it's pretty much just avoid the shots, which is not hard to do. Though, if you're doing like a low percentage, I'm imagining this is probably not easy. I mean, I've already lost um, three energy tanks, three and a half energy tanks, so if you're doing this like without a crazy amount of things, then yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot harder. Just pile on those missiles. This is it, right? This is the last boss. So use everything I've got. I don't want to miss all the time forever. Man, she takes a lot. Oh, jeez. Those things are crazy. Oh, she's doing something. Jeez, holy nuts. Please don't do that anymore. I, yeah, I don't want to get by that. I didn't even notice how much damage it was doing. I'll check out when I'm editing. Oh, shit. Yeah, that did at least one whole thing. Oh. Nope. Oh, a lot of missiles now. Just my power shots. Come on. Oh, what are you doing now? I'm stretching that neck. Oh, God. Oh, God. And... You can't avoid this, by the way. This will do this no matter what. Oh my god. Oh, get up. Ugh. Get up. Come on, I got 317 health left. Oh, jeez. No. No, no, no. Please don't. Please stop that. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Please stop. 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 What'll I do? I'm so bad at this game, I can't even beat it. Oh, well, I'm screwed. Oh, it's Baby Metroid! Baby Metroid to Papa's rescue! Thank you, Baby Metroid. I will name you... Phil Jr. Oh, thank you, Phil Jr. So yeah, Baby Metroid, remember who you are. Kills Mother Brain, because she a bitch. She a bad mother. I'm a way better mother than Mother Brain. And, ugh. So, yeah, that's... Bad way to go. And I love how uh, the Baby Metro will go there and you're like, oh, is that good? And it's giving me energy. Like, aww. But it's pretty clear that Mother Brain is not done. She's still vaping over there with her purple vape. And she is not happy. Not happy. No, Baby Metroid, you're getting hit. Baby Metroid, that's enough life. I can do this. Baby Metroid, no! No, 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 please stop. Don't do it. Don't do it, my poor baby. Yes, that's it. Go, go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! Phil Jr. <gasps> um Anyways, so now that my uh my my uh poor baby is dead, I now have the murder beam, which is not the official name, but you have this crazy beam now. Because apparently either the baby Metroid's ashes just kind of combine with your suit, or you're just so angry that you can technologically change how your weapon reworks. I have no idea. But basically, this is a crazy powerful weapon that you don't use now. I think there's like a, it's, okay, so it's not officially called the murder beam, but people like calling it that. Um, I think there's like a glitch where you can activate the murder beam anytime or something like that. I don't know. Strange love, you you watch this stuff. You know all this stuff. You tell me. You know all the things. You've been a good help with me on this journey, so. And there we go. That is officially that we actually did do it this time. Die, bitch. You're just like, ah, porky. The Game Boy Mega Man games, they're pretty good. They're not something I'm super familiar with, the way I am with, um, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> 
yeah, oh, yeah, damn. Uh, I'm not super familiar with them the way I am with the NES games, so these are actually, despite the fact that they're probably made to be easier than the NES versions, are harder for me, because I'm just not super used to them the way I am the other versions. So, cool. I mean, that's fun, though. It means it's going to be something I'm not used to experiencing nearly as much. That was dumb of me. Come on, shoot your stupid dad. That was a dumb place to be. So yeah, I'm doing the same route that I did with my speedrun, because it's it's just the best route. It's the route I've always used. Uh, Cutman gives you Rolling Cutter, and it's like such an amazing version of the Rolling Cutter that it just makes sense to have it, to be honest. So I wouldn't mind doing a um, small speedrun of Zero Mission. Maybe not even a speedrun, just like a, a sequence-breaking version of that game, because it's super easy to sequence-break. Oh, look at that! It was like the exact same fight as my speedrun. I speedran that game 14 years ago. I can't believe I'm saying that. I taped it on an actual um, uh, VCR. Because, you know, back then, that's kind of how you did it. It's definitely the best one. It's, it's, it's the one that I think most people talk about when they talk about the Game Boy Mega Man games. It's also the most expensive one. Um, the other ones, like Mega Man 1 and 2, are fairly cheap. 3 and 4 are getting pricey, and 5 is crazy pricey. There's no levels. You don't even know who they are. So it, you think it's going to be... Like, oh, I'm gonna refight the Robot Masters like in every Mega Man game, but you actually don't do that. In fact, very few Mega Man games do you actually refight all the bosses. You are taking your time going up. Am I gonna die to Bubble Man? Because these uh, underwater controls are not doing me any favors. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Yep, there we go. Oh! No, I'm dead. There's no E-Tanks in this game, by the way. It's just like the first Mega Man game. Oh my god, I'm actually doing fairly well considering. Holy shit, I got this. Haha, <laughs> you are a bitch, Bubble Man! You had me, and you ruined it. What is wrong with- But I, I hope this is Heat Man, then. Yeah, okay, good. Let's get Bubble Led. But it sucks, because like there's only one level after this, so you get very little time to actually use the weapons that you end up getting. Which is is a is a problem that they they did fix in the uh, other Game Boy Mega Man games, absolutely. So, not really a big problem. Thank you. But I mean, I feel this game was I wouldn't against Ice Slushy. He's like, oh, I'm Flash Man. You're like, sure you are, buddy. It sucks though because you can't really have more than one Ice Slasher on screen at once, so it's not a super useful thing against uh, Flash Man. But. He's dead now. Nope, he's not dead yet. He's dead now. Now I can use Time Stopper against, uh... It's, it's a good chunk of people do it. Oh yeah, my favorite, my favorite's, uh, Gravity Man. <laughs> like, oh, jeez, everyone's doing that now. It's just the thing to do, I guess. Take your time. I can wait. Uh, use heat, a little bit more heat. At least I'm hitting him. Ah, except for that one! Ah, that would do! Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> now it's just kind of just try to hit him as much as I can. There we go. And now he's dead. I like them, I think they're cool. And the one here is Anchor. And he's kind of an interesting idea for an enemy. Ah, and I'm gonna die. He absorbs your, um, your shots, and his shots get bigger. You can either hit him when he's doing this, or you can hit him in the air. You can't hit him if he's just running. Like that. Ah, I'm dead. I'm screwed. Watch out for his reach. Yeah, I was going to say that reach is crazy. Anchor um, and the other two uh, Mega Man killers are actually named after um, styles of music. Because that's kind of a, a norm in Mega Man. Frank, hate you. And Anchor is named after a traditional Japanese style of music called Enka. I don't know much about it. I don't know anything about it. But I know it exists, and I'm screwed. Come on, try to get as many hits as I can. Jump, jump, good. One more hit, jump, please jump. Nope, oh, I got him. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a Japanese style of music, and then in the other games you had punk, and it's spelled weirdly last boss. Hooray. Shame I can't charge it up here. Let's charge it up, might as well. It's just faster if you just kind of hammer on the... Oh, if you get hit, you lose your charge. No wonder I don't do it like that. Oh man, I'm screwed. Now nah, I'm fine. There we go. Alright. So Mirror Buster, you just kind of hold it. 
and you can just hold it out like this. And basically, you just bounce back the lasers. Just be very careful of the, the robot hand, because that's what's going to kill me, if anything kills me here. Bam. Okay. Miss that. Okay. Oof. Play it safe there, I guess. Nice. One more. There we go. That was Mega Man, Dr. Wally's Revenge. And Dr. Wally's like, shit. <laughs> good game. A good solid, just like, little... But, you know, changes them just enough to make them a little bit different. Some levels are like that, some levels aren't. And Metal Man's just as easy as he was before, except he only jumps the, the full height of the screen now, as opposed to between three different heights. And he'll always shoot two, instead of one, two, or three. Plus, if you'll notice, he's taking extremely little damage from me. So, or not from me, but, well, I mean, he's, we're both taking one block of damage per shot. So I can just sit here and just shoot, and, like, just do this, and he'll still die before I do. Like, that's pathetic. It's kind of weird. Some enemies take a lot of damage off you, but some bosses don't do much damage at all. Like, Airman? You can... So, yeah. Um, one kind of weird thing about what I'm trying to do with the color, you'll notice that this guy's head, one foot, and the tail is the same uh, color as Mega Man, while the rest is the color of the background. That's just the way the Game Boy games worked. Um, and I'm playing this game well, on the Retron, but, like, the colors I'm using as the default are not black and white. I did a Mega Man 3, like, preliminary playthrough, um, right before taping this, and that game is really difficult. It should still be, um, fast enough to be a quickie, though, not a full series, but whatever. Jump! Ah, oh, well, bad jumping. And you're dead. Stupid easy. Mind you, Woodman's easy with Metal Blade anyways, normally, so. Yeah, Mega Man 3 is, is much, much harder, though. Because I was like, I felt like it, it, like, if you guys didn't know me, I was, like, drunk off my ass. I felt really, like, weird about it. I was like, I don't know why, maybe it was just, I was just maybe not in the mood for some reason. Woodman is, er, Woodman, Airman is stupid, is he? Bam and bam. Oh, no, it didn't work that time. First time through, um, he got hit multiple times with one leaf shield, I guess not this time. Sub-pixels, I guess, or whatever. Here. I guess the big, um, the big story is that Kiji Inaf uh, Inafune, the guy who, who, who's like, not, didn't make the Mega Man games, but like, he's like the director of most of the Mega Man games. Um, I guess he, say, he said that all the Game Boy ones were outsourced. And I guess this one for the Game Boy is the worst one. I guess they had a lot of problems. Uh, they didn't know what Mega Man was at all. So they just had a lot of problems with it. So that's probably why this game turned out the way it did. But at the same time, like, yeah, I can see why it's not super great. But the fact that they went out of the way to make music for this game when they could have just made the music for the NES for weird, but whatever. It was quick game, like, quick games like this I just think are fun. And I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, it didn't bother me when I was a kid, because I think we played a lot of the games, like, again and again. Like, you played them a lot when you were a kid. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I only got, like, four, maybe five games a year. And that's actually being generous. Probably less than that. Um, you know, maybe one for my birthday, maybe one for, for Christmas. Um, maybe two for Christmas, one for, like, my parents, one for my grandparents or something. But games weren't something I got a lot of when I was a kid. It wasn't until I started Let's Play, or Let's Play, jeez, collecting, that I started getting, like, games myself a lot. You know what I mean? So, I just replayed the games I had all the time. I think a lot of people from my generation, just, that's how they, they handled games. But nowadays, I were at a game store, and the amount of times kids come with their parents, the parents buy them, like, six games, like, right off the bat. You're like, jeez. And they play through them, and they're bored immediately, and it's just like, nah, man, when I was a kid, you played the game, like, multiple times. And yes, it's lame that the first thing me and Kate watched on Disney Plus was a really bad Christmas movie. But whatever, we're in, in mid-November, and that means bad Christmas movies for me. I love bad Christmas movies. We watched a bunch of them. Like, the Netflix ones? They're stupid, and I know they're stupid. Also, way to game friggin' uh, magnet missile. How it zooms in on the hands. It's not supposed to do that! It does on the Genesis version, too. It's stupid and annoying. But yeah, um, I like bad Christmas movies. I really do. I like the classic ones, too, like Santa Claus, and I even like the, the Grinch Christmas by like Jim Carrey, and the original one. Of it's a game. That's all I got to say. 
Hello, giant cat, where only the head and the tail are colored the same as me, while the background is its body. That's how it worked in the NS games, too, I think. Is that when you have sprites that... Super easy. It could probably be the, the first boss you'd fight in the Mega Man game and you'd win. Because it's just like... There you go. There you go again. There you go again. There you go. I could have got him another time, but I didn't. Watch out. Oh, I missed him. That was the hardest version of Top Man I've ever fought because I missed him. Oh, you can't, like, jump in midair through the, the door. Heresy. You're supposed to be able to do that in every Mega Man game. Except for Mega Man 11, which annoys the crap out of most people. It is annoying. It's silly. But I can't believe some people actually, like, took it really seriously. I can't believe Mega or Capcom would forget that. You're like, guys, calm down. Stop getting your panties in a gigantic bunch. Here. This is evil Mega Man from the future who uses a pogo stick. I wish I made that up. Nope, this is Quint, who's also evil Mega Man from the future, using his pogo stick, the Saku Garne. I don't know. Um, I guess the story is Dr. Wily figured out time travel and uses something called the Time Skimmer to um, go to the future and kidnap and brainwash Mega Man to be evil. Also, he's green for some reason in this. In, in, you don't see it, because obviously this is the Game Boy game, but Quint is green. And then when you beat him, he just kind of... Well, is he done? He doesn't have a life bar, which is very weird. Because I thought it was Proto Man was a kid. And then he just disappears. I got four E-Tanks, so it's not really a big deal. There he is in his weird pterodactyl ostrich mobile that shoots out little bombs and toenails. Dude, Dr. Wily, you're not trying anymore. Also, those bombs look like, um, you know, like melons that you see in anime. That's not what I meant. Um, li literally like cantaloupes and melons and stuff. But they got the little thing on the top. Kind of what I thought it looked like when I was a kid. But yeah, this is this is Dr. Wily. He has three forms. So, you know, that's that at least. You're like, wow, this is really dull. He gets a little bit better. But no, there he is. Now he's... <laughs> that's what he looks like now. His little bone helicopter. Oh, jeez. Okay. And now he's a little tank. And he's just as bad. Just as stupid. He's actually a little harder now, but... I was shoot him in the head. Watch out for his bombs. Oh, that blow up. And what I mean, that's what bombs do, so. Um, let's use the second Garnet, actually. Woo! And the second Garnet, what's stupid about it is it hurts you. Because why wouldn't it hurt you too? Let's get rid of it now. We have last form, which I think looks like a T-Rex. Also, hard knuckle. Eh, nope. Can't hit him. And there he is. This is the final version of... Dr. Wily. I almost said Robotnik. Let's get the second Garney back on. Boy, the weird bullet bills and these guys. Eh. Nope. That didn't want work for me. See, the second Garney is a terrible friggin' thing. But well, whatever. Just hit him in the head, which affects his skull for some reason. Well, that sounds like it would make sense, but hit him in his head, and then the, the robot skull will do that. It's a very weird last boss, because this is actually the easiest the easiest version of Dr. Wily of the three forms. Also, why does this skull thing extend? Ooh, almost punched ya. There we go, we beat Mega Man 2. <laughs> the weirdest Mega Man game I think I've ever played. Maybe other than Mega Man Saga. What am I doing? What did I get there? Why did it do the you got, you got an item thing? What did I get? Um, but then things came up like life. I had my parents over and, and a couple things. I, basically, I was just busy. Uh, and uh, it's not just I was playing Pokemon. My wife was playing it way more than I was. But I didn't have a lot of, of space. Like, last little while, I was like, oh, I got 30 gigs or whatever left. So every time I'd finish a series, I'd put that series on the external hard drive. Then the last, like, month or so, I noticed I, I only have, like, 15 gigs. What is happening? So every time I finish an episode, I put that episode on the external hard drive and deleted from from my PC. But yeah, this is Snake Man. We got Snake Man here, and his level is, or not level, his room is super small, so it's very hard to kinda not get hit by him. You're probably going to. So that was my hit. Now let's try to keep away from him from, nope, that's bad. One hit left, but I can make it. Nice, there we go. Good thing I've got, the, ah shit, that was not good. Stay away from him. Got him, nice, not bad. The Mega Buster makes uh, bosses way easier, especially when they're not really built with the Mega Buster in mind, so... Whatever. Take him out. 
Oh, it's hard to do that, too. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. That was really stupid of me to stand there and take that, though. And dead. Good enough. Yeah. And the Mega Man Color, actually, for uh, for this, which is uh, what this game would look like if you played on a Game Boy Color, is actually perfect for... What a good shot! Is perfect for this uh, weapon. Ah, oh, shit! Why would you slide? You meanie. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> Shadow Man is a bitch to kill without a boss weapon. Same thing he was in Mega Man 3. It just kind of goes like goes and then comes back. So you, you gotta get a little bit close to Spark Man. Oh, shit. He's also invincible when he charges up, which is really weird. There we go. Easy enough. Giant Susie! She's animated very well. I like, I like the way she looks. But she's annoying. I shouldn't be sliding. What is wrong with me? Just kind of pelt her with this. She takes a lot of damage off you, though. Ah, shit. I just jumped right in there. Doesn't matter. She's dead. Whew! I don't know why they give you that. Let's just fight Dust Man. Plus, I like how the boss battle music is, um... Shit. Is Mega Man 4's boss music, which is not very good, in my opinion. I don't like it at all. But it's cool that it's 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 not um shit. It's not Mega Man 3's. Come on. It's not too hard, so I gotta stop messing up. Come on, Phil. What is happening to you, man? What happened to the cool Phil that everyone knew? Okay, doing much better now. Yeah, I was hoping we would jump into it. Okay, good. If he keeps doing this, this isn't too bad, actually. Because he's invincible while he, he does the sucking thing, by the way. That's why I'm not shooting him. <laughs> just bounce right off. Whew! That was a tough level. Which is a straightforward, just forward weapon. Um, just be careful of Skullman, because you can't hit him when he has his, you know, skull barrier up. But he's just jumping around like that. Ah, damn. Gonna stop it. And run into me like an idiot. As soon as the lands, too, he, uh, he uses that thing. Nice. Eh, ah, shit. Ah, come on. Let it down. Let it be. Thank you. Yeah, Skullman's a lot harder in Mega Man 4 for NES. Also, be very careful. It's not hard to just accidentally kill yourself on spikes with jumps and stuff like that. Very easy to do that. Shoot another torpedo. Thank you. Like, you're not expected to, like, basically use any of uh, the Mega Man 3 boss enemy uh, weapons at all. They're not as useful, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of weird, it's just, it, it goes... Like, Mega Man 1 always felt like, well, I mean, you didn't really do levels to the Mega Man 2 bosses, so it wasn't really a big deal. But in Mega Man 2, the... Bam. Does that stay with me? No, of course not. That sucks. Come and get me, you fool. Death. Death awaits you. Unless I really suck at this, which is clearly what's happening right now. Oh, well, one more hit. There we go. I tanked a lot of hits there, but it worked out for the best, I guess. I don't know. In the original game. So yeah, we definitely want homing missile because it just goes right for uh, Drill Man. Plus, Drill Man doesn't have invincibility while he drills like he does in the uh, original game. Why did I do that? Oh, that's close. Wow, he's just... He's not even doing what he normally does, which is chase after me and uses uh, drills. That's fine by me. Makes him way easier. Yeah, there we go. So, weirdly enough, Punk in Mega Man 10, because Punk comes back as DLC, he's red. And you get to play his level. There is a level, by the way. But to get... What is he going to do? Okay. Ah! Whoa. Uh, this is basically what he does. Just this. He's invincible when he's in this thing. Whew! He's got to be fast, basically. It's all about just really knowing what he's going to do. Um... Okay. Oh, damn. Shit, that was bad. Uh, yeah, he's red, and for some reason... Shit, I can't believe I did that. One more hit. Okay, good. Um, I always pictured him as green growing up. And I have a Nintendo Power with this game in it, but I don't remember if Punk was in it. Alright, let's take out that giant Susie with Spark. Which I believe is its weakness. I don't know if it gets any other weakness later on, but with the Mega Man 4 boss stuff, but... It's hard to jump to when he smashes into things. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God! You avoided everything I threw at you. And now you're gonna kill me. One more hit. One more hit. Okay, jeez. That was a little much. So you fall. It, it, it feels like you're outside now, but you're actually not. 
it just looks outside because there's no background. This is super easy. So stand over here. He can't hit you. And that's it. But when these things come by, you just jump at the last second. This is it. So turn around. Hit him in the eyes. Jump. And you can hit him. This is the last boss. I think this is super hilarious. Now, obviously, it's not the last form of the last boss because you gotta use the um, screw crush or whatever it's called, the punk. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, isn't this, I, I just think this is funny. See how well made this game is and how hard it is that this is the last boss. All right, get the punk thing. Now, it sucks about the way the uh, punk weapon works is that the shots that are going to come out will reflect it. Is it an alarm or something? I don't even know. Okay. So you want to be able to, like, obviously hit Dr. Wilder like, like this. But the balls that he hits out will knock it away. See, just like that. So if you have a lot of uh, E-Tanks, you can just kind of go into the uh, Wily Robot's body and just tank the hits. But, not going to do that. Just going to do this. Now you have E-Tanks to spare, so. Disappointed that there's no last boss music. Very lame. It's like the one bad thing. It's like the, everything falls apart. Like right here. It's just not very fun. It's not very well made. Other than that, this game is super good. But yeah, it only takes one hit off of each one. And you can't be hurt by any other weapon, so you gotta do it like this. But there we go! Big Mega Man 3! We are more than halfway done. All the Mega Man games for the Game Boy. The original Game Boy. I had someone ask me, oh, does that mean you do the Mega Man Zero games? I don't really know why it does that, but yeah, whatever. But no, they did a, they did a pretty good good job with this one. I don't remember it all that much. Um, I didn't do a preliminary test the way I did with Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. Um, just because I wasn't doing a quickie on this one. This isn't going to be a single episode. This is going to be a, a more traditional Let's Play for me where 29 episodes are the way I go about it. To, uh, to the Game Boy or the, the portable system of the day. And not do anything, let's just port it. And I'm like, well, that's lame. I'd rather have a fully unique game. I'm gonna spend money. And I get it. It's like, well, you know, people, kids wanted Mega Man X for the Game Boy Color. It's like, yeah, I get it. But, like, you couldn't at least make King over here. Then it's, like, it, its own game that, as a collector, I can get excited to collect about, uh, for. But, like, Mega Man Extreme's not fun or exciting to collect for. Because, you know, you know what you're gonna get. Toad Man's easy. If you hit him, I, I was a little slow on, on the, the start of the battle, but you can just do this. Oh, nope. That's too fast there. His Toad Flush or Rain Flush or whatever is a full screen move. You cannot avoid it. And now he's dead. Hooray. We got Rain Flush, so pretty much we just gotta use it over and over again. He can't avoid it, so. Damn. Come on, keep jumping. Nope. Shit. Oh, well, I'd rather get hit by his thing. I probably shouldn't jump when he uses um, his time stop, just because I'd rather get hit by his uh, his pellets. They do way less damage, so. Right, man, though. Um, what you can do, when you see like a company not doing what you think might be best for the, uh, the customer, keep in mind that they might have painted themselves, unfortunately, into a shitty business plan or industry. Um, it's the same with, like, video game stores and stuff. People are like, oh, well, their used games are so expensive. Yeah, but, I mean, when you give out, like... I'm gonna give an example. Games that come out, they're 80 bucks. And it, Oh, jeez. One second. Careful. Oh, he can't get me from over here. Question of the day. Has anyone, um... Have you guys watched the... I think it's the... Ruby Spears? I think that's the company name. The Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon show. From the, I think, the mid to late 90s. I like it. I liked it. It's cheesy. Very cheesy. But I liked it. And the guy who voices uh, Rat Trap and a bunch of other guys from Beast Wars, whose name I can't picture now, which is a shame because he's like a really, really good voice actor, uh, voices Proto Man. I think he also voices Dr. Wily in uh, Captain N. But anyways, it was a good show. So I'm wondering, did you guys watch it? Did you like it? If you did, what did you like about it? But yeah. And it was Pharaoh Man shot, or Pharaoh shot, or whatever you want to call it. You can charge it up like that. So we're definitely going to do it. And just let it go. I don't know if the um, ball above your head can hurt him. Like it could in the original NES one. Wow, he's way easier in this version. 
Again, I think it's because you can lead the um, the rings a lot better. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's clearly not that. Anyways, let's try that again. Well, I like the idea of like little story-based missions like this. Like, you're you're getting to Dr. Wily's castle. There's not a level. There's just like a boss there. A, a, a challenge to overcome. I think that's a good idea. Okay, doing good. That stuff's easy to avoid now that I know it. Open your eye, damn it. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, it's much better than Ring Boomerang. I don't know why I thought that was a weakness. It's the kind of good thing about the, the Mega Buster. If you don't know a weakness, you can just charge up your Mega Buster and you're fine. Now I'm curious as to what it is. It's not going to be Toad. That'd be... Rain Flush would be silly. Okay. I'm going to shoot your doubles now. Oh, wow, that does something. Oh, it only does one, though. Uh, that's Bright Stopper, which I don't think does anything. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. And a Pharaoh Shot. Try again? Yeah! I mean, I don't know if it was weak against it, but whatever. Yeah! So now we did that, we have access to the next four Robot Masters from Mega Man 5. And here we go, here's Ballad. He can be fairly difficult, he leaves bombs when he, like, ducks. Uh, nope, it didn't yet. It usually does. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, damn. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Oh. Oh. So he's not... He just looks very shiny there. I didn't destroy him, so he actually ran off. I love that. All right, let's take our Crystal Man. We'll end this episode off. Come on. Shit. We're both very bad aims, uh, Crystal Man. There we go. First shot. <laughs> damn. At least the slowdown actually really helps me in this game. Easy enough. There we go. Yeah, he's not... He's not gonna pose much of a problem for me. Which is good. Wow, that one's just stuck on the floor. There we go. Alright! With that, we get Crystal Eye, which is definitely a cool one. I think it, like, bounces and, like, kind of bursts into a bunch of little crystals, like, you know, Crystal Man's did. Which makes... It was like, it was like a jungle or something in, in the NES game, which is very weird. This is, of course, in the Dr. Wally castle, so it's very mechanical. Which is like my only real complaint about this game is that everything's very mechanical looking. Does that do more if I hit him with the big eye? Does it really matter? Not really. Well, ah, I got a one hit. Come on. There we go. Easy enough. Napalm Man, as much as I like him, he's not a great fight. Not really a big deal, though. But most people don't seem to really enjoy Mega Man 5 and 6 the way I do, so... Really just focusing on the original ones. I guess it's because I've played them all so many times that, like, I can look past just the nostalgia of playing the original games. Because those, I understand why they're popular. By the time 5 and 6 came out, the Mega Man formula was so old and the Super Nintendo was out that not a lot of people got the Mega Man games. Just looking around, this must be the midway point there. Just looking around for that, uh, next letter, which would be an L, I believe. Damn you, Hippo. It's kind of weird to see him, too, because he's a Mega Man 4 mini boss. Come on. One of the things that actually kind of annoyed me about Man 11, oh, the, the, maybe this is just me. I'm gonna look around, see if I can find out where I can uh, get that secret area. I don't know how to do that. It's really weird. Maybe I'll play around a little bit, see if there's a thing I can do. Take this guy out first. Damn, mini bosses. I tell ya. Mini bosses. I hate them. And that's not true. I actually don't mind this guy. The idea is pretty cool. Gets you constantly shooting and that sort of thing. So please don't. Uh. Shit. Ah! Freak. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, here's Power Stone. Shit. Ah, damn it. Okay, come on. Oh, he jumps around a lot in this one. Okay, one more. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. God damn it. Oh, thank God. I was like, if this doesn't hit him, <laughs> he's gonna jump right at me. Not fun. Not fun. Alright, come at me. And avoid. No, he's invincible. He gets so much invincibility time, you know what I mean? Shit. 
Yeah, I don't have any of those. Oh, well, I've got lives. Ooh, actually, you know what? I actually might make this. Whew. Yeah! Wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. Good for me. He's way easier in this one. Probably because the level of the uh, the room is so much more cramped, so Power Stone has a much better chance of hitting him. Weird, because Mega Man 5 does have them. Are we fighting Ballad? There we go. Kind of weird little mini stage. Oh, now he's like charged up and he's got glasses. Very cool. Now he's leaving the things. The first time I fought him, he wasn't leaving these, uh, these kind of weird bombs. Oh, get away from me, dude. Gun jump. Shit. Oh, well, I've got E tanks. I knew he was gonna jump right, or go right at me like that. Come on. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. take that, man. That was a good fight. I if you can go back to Dr. Light's uh, lab at all. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shit. What is that? I don't like it. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful there, then. Yeah, I need to make sure I get some weapon energy because I need to get Ballad Cracker up to speed. Alright, let's take this guy out again. Oh, easy enough. Another met? Yeah. Thought I'd come in. Nice. Oh, fight a boss. What the hell? Oh, um. Ring. Shit. No? Okay, what do I use for this? Um, Toad Bright. Pharaoh. Oh wow, it uses the ring against me. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's using all the weapons. That's cool. Damn. Oh man, you have to be quick with them though. Holy shit, really? Wow, I'm getting just ruined here. Okay, I'm gonna use an E tank. Awesome. Shit. No, way too early, way too late. Okay. Oh, how did that not hit? One more shot. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh my god, that was worrying. Are we now inside the ship? So it's kind of cool there's like mini levels. I like that a lot. And what we got here... Oh, jeez, what are you? Oh my god, it's a boss. Oh no, there's lots of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez. Does it matter which one I hit? Oh, there is a specific one. Oh, okay. Gotta pay attention then as to which one I'm attacking. Nice, there we go. Ah, I was hoping to hit that. He's going faster than them, too. One more. Gotcha. Holy nuts. Ah, oh, I didn't get the one up, though. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Oh, you got more of these guys, huh? Holy crap, it was a long level. Oh. Only one's open at a time. Guess I got hurt the one that's open. That makes sense. It's a cool idea. I like how the level, like, changes, too. That's interesting. One more. Nice. That's cool. I like that a lot. For the first time in a Game Boy Mega Man game, we actually have the rematches against the Robot Masters. I have zero idea what order. I'm assuming the left is going to be all the Mega Man 4 bosses, and the right is going to be all the Mega Man 5 bosses. Yeah, they don't really put, I, I find, a lot of thought into where they're going to put... Uh, where's Drill? Where's Drill? No, the Drill's not in this one, is it? Uh, I guess it'd be Ring, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I find they don't really think of wh who, where, where they're going to place the Robot Masters and the refights. It's kind of lame in that sense. Because they, they're just like, whatever, it doesn't really matter, so they just put them wherever they want. But that means at least we know where things are going to go from there. Whatever. Let's do that again. Gun jump? Yep. Get some twice per, though. I do like that. Come on. Let me get one more time. Good. And one more time before he does anything. Wow, he didn't even try to freeze me this time. Whatever. If he doesn't want to use his awesome magical abilities to stop time, then that's his own damn problem. 
uh, Time Stopper or Flash Stopper or whatever the hell it's called. I think Flash Man's weapon is a Time Stopper and Bright Man's weapon is the Flash Stopper, which really makes no sense when you think about it. Go on the other side of me, please. Thank you. Just gonna go right here. Hit you the foot. Easy boss. Poor Pharaoh Man. He's actually fairly difficult if you don't use the Bright Stopper or Flash Stopper or whatever against him. Because he moves around a lot. He's very fast. Next up, Ring Man, who's way easier in this game. Pharaoh. Shoom. Now for the Bang Man 5 bosses, do I keep going there? Do I start back at the top? It doesn't really matter. I mean, you know. Damn you. Eh. You are way easier in this version of the game. I mean, I still get hit, sure, but whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! You suck. Alright. I'm just gonna go to the right, I guess. It doesn't really matter who it is. And it's... Crystal Man. Wow, it's the exact friggin' uh, way I did all this. Uh, charge Kick, I guess. Yeah, it's the same order that I, I kind of played the game. You go up there first. Okay. Nope, that was very dumb. Come here. Oh, how do you... Oh, okay, you just slide. What to say, do I have to, like, use the shot button or what? It's gonna be hard to hit him with. Oof. I don't like it. That's not bad. Okay, yeah, just do this. <laughs> That's not too hard. It'd be a lot worse. Nice. Yeah. So next up will be Napalm Man, I guess. Um... I'd be using here. Crystal. Pew! Love that. It slows the game down, though, which makes sense. I'm surprised I can even do some of the stuff that's... Oh, no! That is incorrect. Um, stone. Alright, charge man. Come at me, bro. There we go. And suck. I hate you. Oh, nice. Two hits, though. I hate you so much, charge man. Just die. Well, he really didn't want to get off my ass there. He was just charging along. Chugga chugga choo choo. Slows the game down so much. Because Mega Man 5, uh, some of the Mega Man 5 uh, weapons have so much going on. You know what I mean? <coughs> Alright. Oh, he's, he's just straight up using stone right away. Ah, crap. I hate you, stone man. Okay. Just bombard him, basically. There we Oh, Oh, he's invincible when he does that. I did not know that. But he's dead now. Easy. Easy peasy. And last but not least, now we'll finally get that crystal on. Love that background. It's so cool looking. It's almost like a fake 3D. I mean, it's not really when you think about it. It's just like... It just looks good. I don't know. I, I'm really impressed with Mega Man 4 for the, for the Game Boy. It looks just great. <laughs> don't really need to avoid this stuff. It's fairly easy. Poor Napalm Man. He's so simple. Except I shouldn't get hit by his body. It did a lot of damage. There we go. So what is next? Does that mean we also fight uh, Ballad again? Alright. What can we do here? Um, what can you get up there? How about Ring? No, you can't shoot Ring upwards. Would the Ballad Crusher be good? Let's beat. Actually, beat. That'd be perfect. Nope. Apparently does not do it. Oh. No, it doesn't do anything. Are you serious? That sucks. Oh, that's going to punch me right in the face. Um, Ballad Cracker, right up here. Yeah, oh, it punched me. No, really? Shit. Toad, no. Oh, how about Power Stone? Yeah, it's not gonna do- Oh my god, I'm gonna punch again! <laughs> Don't punch me! Stop it! Will that even hit him? Oh, nice! Okay, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but at least I can hit him with it. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it hits. That's what matters. Let me use an energy tank in a second. Okay, cool. How am I doing for tanks? Oh, not bad. Cool. All right. Uh, back to stone. How am I supposed to do this without stone? Wait, can I jump on the hands? I bet you I can jump on the hands. Yeah, okay, and then I can shoot him with regular shots. The power stone actually works really well for this, though, so... Ah, stop punching me, man! Oh, that just took it all out. Ah, my god, I keep getting hit by these things. Um, I'm gonna E-Tank anyways. Wow, I'm actually surprised at how much, this, how much uh, damage this stuff, stuff is doing to me. But, I mean, hey. It's the point of having the E-Tanks, right? The 
final boss, the final showdown. There we go. We are not done yet. Oh, wow. Are, are we? It's giving me the um, victory theme. I'm pretty sure there's at least one more. Because he comes down and you fight the face, right? Yeah, there we go. But to say, it would be silly if they had made the face and then not make him fight him. Look, look at that. Straight up Dr. Robotnik. Uh, let's try the Battle Crack Cracker now. Really? Oh, maybe when his mouth is open. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay, not too crazy. I can do this. Anything else there, Wily? Oh, my God! <laughs> Didn't expect that either. Holy crap, how are you supposed to avoid that? Ah, shit. I'm really bad at aiming. Okay. This part... Ah, well, I'm an idiot. This part's not too hard. How do I get through that, though? Can I jump, like, over him? No, that's just gonna straight up hit me. What do I do there? Oh, my God. This is not going well at all. Oh, wow, way to go right into him, Phil. Uh, another E-Tank. Oh, my God, I can't believe how many E-Tanks this is taking me. Can I rush Jet, or rush Coil over him? Like, like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, I got two. Well, whatever, he's taking a lot of damage from the Ballad Cracker, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, just run into me again, I guess. I don't understand that. Oh, you can't... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You can't go past him, either. Oh, just me. I didn't know if I get three in there. Oh. Take that, Wily. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got, like, nothing to worry about. All right. <laughs> Cheap, sure. But I like that. It is a Game Boy game, after all. I mean... It does make sense for it to be like, you know, yeah, continue here. I mean, it's a, it's a handheld portable game. There we go. This isn't too bad if you just, like, kind of stay with them underneath them. Okay, so he kind of does this as a pattern. It's fairly difficult, too. Like, that's, if, when you don't know what's happening, that's uh, not the easiest thing in the world to react to. Okay, there we go. All right, that's not too bad. I like this. Neat idea. Neat idea. There we go. Is that it? Oh, I can still move around. Are you done? Yeah, okay. Taking control from me. That's gotta be the end now. Yay! This game can be sort of difficult later on in the game. And there's bosses! Bubble Bobble didn't have bosses. And if they did, they'd be maybe as terrifying as this thing is. Jeez, that thing is absolutely terrifying. Best thing to do is, of course, you know, hit it with snowballs. I died! <laughs> oh my god. Game over. Because I'm lame. Now, where do I start? Oh. Ha! Ah, I have lots of uh, continues, it looks like. So, whatever. Oh my god! Come on, Phil! Come on! It's, it's, it's winter. It's Christmas time. It's time for a Christmas miracle. Stop being so shitty at everything. Just gonna just do this so he can't hit me. Okay, good. Bam. You suck, big old scary monster. That thing is terrifying, I'd like to point out. You gonna jump down? You look like you're ready to jump down, but you weren't gonna do it. Alright. Come on. You punk. There we go. Can I hit him with... Yeah, you can hit him with just the, the things, too, but that's dangerous, because that just killed me. I play games for, like, a living, guys. I'm amazing. I'm not. I don't play the games for a living, either. I don't know why I even said that. Even as a joke, it's pretty clear that I don't. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt me? Wow. Is that two game overs in one thing? Oh my god. I have eight continues, though. I think we'll be fine. Whatever, we're just having fun. Yay! See? He only killed me, like, 19 times. There we go. Boss stage. It's kind of a weird guy. Big, ugly, gross looking thing. Yep, that's what he looks like. I don't know if this actually works. Oh, geez. Come on, Phil. Go three seconds without dying. But I wonder if I could just... Can I just stay down here and... It looks like I can. And now he goes up, I think, right? Oh, no. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get hit by something. Oh, good. That worked out well for me. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, shit. Nice. 
Watch out. No, turn around. I think he can appear at the top. I'm not 100% sure anymore. This guy's a lot easier than the first guy. Um, uh, careful. I don't think the the mushroom does anything. Let me just stay here. Shit, watch out. Okay. Can't really hit him when he's up there all that much. A lot harder. Yeah, there we go. Take out those guys, too. Awesome. Oh, they're gonna explode. Oof. Oh, I can't really get that now. Good music for the bosses, too. They're very big, too, which is kind of cool. I mean, it, is, it makes sense that this was originally an arcade game, like I said. I'm doing much better than... There we go. That was way better than the first boss. Yeah, this boss sucks. I hate this boss. Uh, I hate him. Oh god. Yeah, that was immediate death. See what I mean? They suck. Well, where am I? Not fast enough to really do any anything about these guys. It's the sucky part. There we go. Ah! Okay. Don't like them at all. At least you can't hurt them with your shots. It looks like it anyways. Uh, I don't know where you're gonna go. Oh, okay, one dead. It's a lot easier when there's only one. Ah, ooh, that was close. Bam. <clears throat> it goes ding ding, so I don't actually know if that means I'm actually attacking them or not, or hurting them. I don't think so, maybe not. Okay, good. There we go! Oh, it looks so weird when it dies. Oh, it's like a palm tree thing. Well, I mean, not a palm tree thing, but you know, it looks very nice. Oh, it's nice and warm here. But my cool... Wow, you have no legs. Sucks to be you. This guy's creepy looking. Oh, he does have legs. He just kind of sits on them. Is this it? This looks... Why do the bosses keep getting easier? Ah, shit. Come here. Oh, he jumps. Okay. I have no idea if I'm doing damage. I'm getting points, though, which is weird. There we go. At least I know I'm, I'm doing damage to them when they, uh, when they change color. Maybe this does, like, very little damage. Oh, shit. I think I just killed myself. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no! It's inevitable. Oh, you stupid idiot. Yeah, maybe I just do very little damage with this, and then, like, a lot of damage with my snowballs. Ah, shit. Got a little too close. A little cl too close to the sun there. Come on. Respawn me. Eh. Yeah, wow. He just... <laughs> very just... Ungracefully just... Bleh, I'm dead. It's stupid. This is it. Remember how it was supposed to be friggin' King Scorch or whatever? Nope. This is the last boss. Just this forever. Smack that button. Break out of bubbles. This is it. This is the whole thing. Oh, oh, I want that though. So now I've got the stronger thing. You guys are giving me the tools to your destruction. You idiots. It's a very, very... Oh, careful. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> that was dumb of me. But yeah, this is a very easy final boss. And you don't actually fight King Scorch. Like, I don't know if it's because if you... Maybe if you play... Wow, that was bad. Uh, if you play with two players, maybe there's a, another boss at the end, but I don't think so. I've beaten this with JP a lot when I was a kid. Maybe not a lot, but I've definitely beat it with JP before. So I don't, I don't know what else you're supposed to, like, do. But whatever. It's pretty much just this. It's the one time I know for a fact that you can use your uh, your basic shots to defeat the enemy. So it takes a while. Probably a lot easier when you get um, guys like this where you can make into snowballs. It does take a while, as you can see. Plus, I die repeatedly. I've got three continues left. Come on, please. Okay, phew. I was getting worried there. And there we go. Come on. 
Ooh, that almost like killed me uh, in the spikes. Yeah, this guy just takes a long time. But now I've got the crazy shot. It's so much more powerful, I guess? You can't really tell. I think it's just double the strength. It's nothing too insane. Oh my god, my fingers are just really getting tired now. Can you die, please? Please. Holy shit. I, th I, I, I think this does something. Pretty sure. Eh. It doesn't really feel like I'm doing much, though. Holy nuts. I don't think they gained their life back, so I don't think you're supposed to, like, go after just one. I think it's okay that I'm switching around a lot. Maybe I should just stick with one just in case. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Now I don't have a choice. I can't really jump through that thing, so... Okay. Come on, man. You gotta defeat both of them, too. Holy crap. Ugh, slow down a bit. It's probably better if I do it like... Oh, I'm not even paying attention! Phil, pay attention to your surroundings while you fight the big evil twin statues of Samocho. That's what I call them. Because it reminds me of Star Tropics. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're flinging me around. You fling me right round, baby. Right round. Because it's no brothers right round. Round down. I don't know. In other words, I'm bad with lyrics. You guys know that by now. Okay. Come on. One of you's got to die soon. Holy crap. Ugh, Capcom, you could have thought of a better villain, please. This is pathetic. Die. What if this is an anti-piracy measure and it thinks I have a pirated version of the game? That's what I'm shocking this up to. There's no ending, guys. This is it, forever. The game will not let you win the game. There's no, there's no game to win. We're stuck here forever. This is purgatory. Oh my god! I guess we just keep going until I lose all my lives. Because that's what seems like it's going to happen. I hope they don't like, gain life back when I die, either. Oh! Oh! Does that mean he's dead? Yay! That's one down. Okay, so that means that means we're almost there. you got to be close to dead, too. Like, I've been kind of going at you guys fairly evenly. Come on, you son of a bitch. Let me attack you. No! Stop it! Die now. No, 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 no. Did I hit the other one that many more times? Oh my god! I'm faster now, and I didn't even realize it. Ah, you suck! Oh. <laughs> I think the twin sisters are losing faith in me. Like, this is the guy who's trying to save us? Uh, in my opinion, like, Nick Tom, the brothers were never very good at anything. <laughs> so, it's like, oh crap, it's Nick and Tom who's gonna save the world. That took forever. That was a very long last fight. Um, there we go. Ah, you son of a bitch. Oh, jeez, you're not dead. Well, I beat it. I beat the level anyways. Is that the boss? Oh, do I have to beat him? Why does he do this? Why is, what, like, what is he doing? Okay, is he dead? Oh, I keep going. Okay, he's a mini boss. Or no. Oh, jeez, there's a boss. I don't like how there's no, no more music. It's just this one song. Whatever, that was easy.